Huggy time? What do you mean, huggy time? It's, it's, it's Fangter day. <laughs> Got him. Uh, I'll be honest. The fact that ending four is the ending I got first has just become um, the albatross around my neck with this series, hasn't it? I'm, I'm very angry about that, because, like, ending three is just making me angry! Oh, I'm so mad! Uh, putting aside, uh... I'm just, I'm just a little angry. I'm just a little, a little angry is, is really just the, the long and short of what's been happening. Cause like ending four is the ending that I care about. It's, it's the, it's the nice ending. It's the good ending. YouTube stop doing a funny. The stream is now. It's, it's 7 p.m. on my end, so a trip, trip makes sense. It's, it's 7 p.m. and I'm 7 p.m. and. Listen, we're, we're gonna go through ending ending three, and, and then we're gonna get the ending four bonus ending thing that I've been promised. So so we kind of get a little bit of both. We kind of get a little bit of both, you know. We get to, we get to cheese it. We get to be a sneaky little boy, you know. Going. <laughs> I'm upset though. I'm upset that it's done. The original LP was like, in my opinion, the good part. These streams have been a bit. Mm, I think the stream methodology kills it. It does not help. It's not good. It's just not good. I, I don't get to dive into it as much as my problem. And I, it might have ruined it. It might have ruined. It might have ruined Swanee Gator for me. Who knows? It might have been the killer. It might not have been. It might have been the one who gators exactly what I said it is. But man, that original LP was so great. I did. I had no expectations of an audience. Most of those were recorded before the first video went up, right? Hold on. What is this? Hold on. Let me do let me do some some data and analysis on this. No, I would like the inverted date, thank you. So the first snoot date goes up November the 30th. And it was recorded. What the fuck is it recorded 11 the 28th? 2 days before. Oh yeah, that was back in the old schedule. And around December, I recorded most of it. God damn it. The butt is animated. It has <laughs> 1,800 views. People want to see that butt. <laughs> no, it's not even that much. It's the tail that's animated. It's a lie. I'm a sneaky little boy. I'm, I'm just a little guy hanging out down low going... <laughs> uh, let's see. Finale Part 38 was recorded the 8th of December. So for context... In case you missed it, in case you missed that, that heckin' detail, um, part one goes up the 30th, then the 5th, our part two, three, four, and then between uploading part four and five, everything else is taken care of. <laughs> and it's such a different experience. I legitimately feel that much of this novel experience has just been killed by me doing it on stream. Streaming is so different. I like doing it. It's fun for this, but... I'm sacrificing my enjoyment of things here significantly. I just want to sit there with a little, 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 little mug of tea. And go out. No, actually, I don't even drink tea. And I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to put tea in a mug either. You're supposed to put it in like a cup. Right? You're supposed to hold it and see all the, see all the, the brown inside so your brain doesn't go, this is just a, a pot full of shit, motherfucker. What are you doing? That's why I put it in a glass. So your brain goes, nah, that's not diarrhea. That's not diarrhea. <sighs> I wish I could go back to the simpler days. How many months ago? Four months? Four months? Or so? A lot of months ago. Depressing. Different time. Things were different back then. Things were very different back then. I didn't know half of the stuff I know now about Volcano High and the games and my fanfiction writings and everything else. Everything was different. It was, it was a different time with different priorities. I had a job! I had a job when this ended! 
And now I don't, and I'm poor. <laughs> ah, shit! I missed my, my anniversary! My 12th anniversary on YouTube! Oh, no! Well, sad me, I guess. Sad me. Wait. <laughs> God, I really should get back to, to do a cave story and actually fucking finish it for once. Yibingus. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a little sad. Giving away a little time to support, don't worry. Maybe I should do what Critical Role is doing. And like pre-record everything and then play the recording on stream. <laughs> oh man. Apparently, Critical Role's numbers have been, like, absolutely going down the hill. Go just, just plummeting. But, you know, fair enough. Everything comes to an end. And if you pre-record shit like that, you know, it runs out of steam eventually. People, people, people like the live experience. Like, uh, here's the thing, right? Here's, here's the thing, right? Let's, before we start, here's, here's a little thing I want to talk about. I don't, I don't care if you legitimately care about being there live or not. What matters is the idea of being live, you know? Like, imagine showing up to a cabaret show, and it's a really good cabaret show! You know, like, the comedian's having a lot of fun, he's throwing his weight around, and then they're like, oh, by the way, this wasn't really, he wasn't really there. There was actually a recording of a, of a, of a cabaret show performing on stage, this comedy skit, for you. Oh, fuck, I think cabaret doesn't mean in English what it doesn't in, in Dutch, right? Shit! Fuck. Yeah, it doesn't... Oh, god damn it. It doesn't mean that. <sighs> okay, so in Dutch, cabaret is just stand-up, what we call stand-up comedy, effectively. Although it's a bit more dynamic. Usually, the person performing will sing songs or play music, um, and, and they might have some more emotional tones to it. It's not just straight comedy. It's stand-up comedy, but you get the low notes, so the high notes are higher. But basically... Imagine if you were if you were having like a live uh, performance like that, and you were told after the fact, actually, none of that was live. That was all pre-recorded. You were looking at holograms. No one told you it was live. You just kind of imagined it was. Would you still be upset? Of course you'd be upset. There's this anticipation of the human element. This idea that there's a human being in front of you, and you're having this connection of the performance. So, Critical Role, fuck you for doing a live show recorded. What are you doing? <laughs> like, you can start with that, but you can't... Do it in the middle of something. Says I, who pre-records a shit ton of material nowadays. Whereas, I mean, before, it was a luxury. It was a fucking luxury I could record that stuff on the day. Like a, like a weirdo. Scary Dave has given us some material now that I'm done ranting. And it's been about ten minutes. Everyone who, 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 who will show up has shown up at this point. And if they haven't, well... I'm gonna put my little my little arms and my little sides. I'm gonna say... I can't believe you be this late. You know, I... I've been having some issues with, with writing. I, I want a one shot I can just crank out real fast because everything I'm doing right now, I have four main. Okay, well, I have. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. We need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. All right. First off, why don't I get more just generically positive comments? Every single person who talks to me on fucking archive of her own is giving me these massive responses and criticisms of like, hey, you can fix this. Whereas everyone else, every fucking other story on there has just some dude going, man, that's nice. I really like that part. But I have to deal with actual criticism. Am I am I too sexy? Am I too good for my own for my <laughs> too good for my own good? And everyone wants to give me like legitimate advice on how to make this better because they really like it and want to like you know I want to be I don't want that. I want uncritical love. <laughs> uh, what was that? Okay, my projects. Here's a big problem that I'm having right now. I have four main projects in 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 the works, and I have two main things in the backlog. They are all either long form projects. I might do some. I should really do like some 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 fast and loose stuff. Like a pilot. But one of them is Rails, which is fair enough, fair enough, whatever. But has a massive rewrite going. And the steamy CEG2 copium smut is, is also like going through a massive rewrite. My head goes, ah, wow, 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 wow. Because I just want to write something and throw it out there and never ever look back again. Just, just a one shot, but I don't know what to write. So I'm just here sitting like, everything I do is a lot of work. And I, and I kick my little feeties in the air. Yeah, that's, god damn it, like... <sighs> striptease, burlesque, drag shows, and solo vocalists, that's what you consider cabaret. cabaret. In, in our world, it's... It 
it's, it's a whole different fucking thing. So if you go to the Netherlands and you see a cabaret show, visit it. They are fucking fantastic. They are great. It is a mixture of stand-up comedy theater, music, and uh, includes social themes, themes, and political satire. In the mid-20th century... Hey! Oh, the, oh, those are people before my time. Man, I remember... There's a guy called Duke from the Tech. He was one of my favorites in the olden days. He always did, like, a New Year's conference, where we do, like, a whole show on, on New Year's Eve. Uh, he doesn't do that anymore. He's old, though. But I miss him! He was so nice to watch. I've never seen one live. Which is the sadder part. It's sad. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold the fucking phone. I have the perfect picture. Not, th not this. It's a good picture, though. It's a good picture, though. Also, please remember. Please. You are legally required to remember... I, 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 can't, I can't stop loving. Go, little dude, go! <laughs> He's so handsome. It's just a little guy. Oh, I can't. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make that a permanent fixture because I, I just love that one. Um, image capture. Thank you. Just just, just image will do. Um, I would like for it to be turned off so people can't see when I'm accidentally clicking the wrong fucking picture. I mean, I'm going into a folder that's just my memes and shit. There's, there's nothing in here that I don't want you to see. But, but, but there's, like, stuff like this, this... Where is he? Oh, there he is. Like, like this fucking rat. <laughs> it's a great picture! Uh, hold on. There's something very specifically you have to see. It's very important that you see this. Because it sums up my mood. It sums up my mood perfectly, and it's all we need to get going. And then I need to send someone condolences because someone I know's pet has died. Here, here we go. I love this fucking picture. Oh, look at him! Look at this man! <laughs> He's just a sleepy boy! He's just a sleepy boy. Uh, what's it called again? Palpatine YouTube. Palpatine's journey. There it is. Here, let me. Let me uh, Palpatine's journey. If you look that up, you're looking for the video from a guy called Worthy Kid. Worthy Kids. Fantastic, goofy animation. It's great. He's just a little man. Take a little nap. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Uh, because I have a different fan base. Because it's not just the next. No, it, the people that, that get those responses aren't doing smut, and I'm writing smut right now. I'm writing the pornography, even though I... Uh, I wish I could find that stupid video. I think it was on Twitter. And it's like some dude with a, with a sketchbook. He's like, the pornography, and it fucking burned into my brain. The pornography. It's, it's such a stupid tone. It makes me giggle every time. Unfortunately, my audio memory is so good that it's like, yeah, you will never forget this, buddy. You'll remember this when you're 80 years old, and you're, you're, you're fucking dying, and you're going like... <laughs> Uh, what more What more could a man want, really? What more could a man want? I'm blessed with people who are bothering me with fun links. I guess I guess you could I could build up a fan base, but I honestly thought, you know, I'm nobody. Maybe I don't have the, the, the cool guy club, you know. People who are just like, hey, nice to see you do something, buddy. Slap on the back. I come across too professional, you know. Everyone is like chilling in their loose jeans, and I walk in in a three-piece suit <laughs> with my sunglasses. I'm going, I know what art is. <laughs> Such a loser. All right. All right. All right, before we start, one more look at him. Remember, we're doing it for him. <laughs> we're doing it for him. I'm still going to point out that the male-to-female ratio in these games is fucked when you want to ship them. If you want to ship characters, you're fucked. You, you will not find men. You, your options are Reed and Nasser. Th those are your choices. <laughs> or Sage, I guess, if you want to make a compromise. Wait a minute. Between... There is no straight guy... We know of in Goodbye Vakino High. Not a single straight man. Reed is gay. Sage and Leo are both gay. Naomi is... Eh? Pansexual. Trish is probably straight. Might be more. I don't know. You never know with, with girls who, you know... You never know. Once they start wearing hoodies... Once they start wearing hoodies and hanging out with bugs and doing soft welding and ASMR... You never know. You never know. Also, it's implied she dated Leo, which is weirder and feels more like an offhand reference that I would make, because it's funny. Go, little dude, go. I Listen, Scary Dave, you know how he does it? He, he does like a, a big old Mario jump, your little Mario sound effect, and he goes, bing, <laughs> like a high five. All right, that's that's the energy we need to start this off on. Positive notes, everyone. Recording has started. We are we are commencing. Where the hell is the save I'm looking for? 
Uh, oh yeah, Fang had like a big fight. Fang beat up her friends. Their friends. Someone's friends. Uh, it's probably this one. <clears throat> Alright, let me just straighten my... Let me straighten my tie. Seriously, though. I get so few views and kudos and bookmarks compared to everyone else on there. I write too bigly. My, my writing is too purple prosy, I think, is the problem. Like, I'm too... I'm too wordly. I, I feel is the problem. Not that it's bad or inherently purple prose, but, like, everyone there is like, listen, buddy, we get it, but you're filling out your word count for the teacher, and everyone can tell you ran out of, like, things for the essay ten pages ago. <laughs> I don't know, I just like being explicit, because I don't know what's, what's good enough. What's too much? What's too little? Nobody knows. I don't. And I'm everyone, apparently. Hey! All right. Now that I got that out of my system, because there's always something to get out of your system. If you're coming over here, buddy. I'm going to put my arm around you and I'm going to tell you this. I'm still trying to learn Spanish, but boy, I'm not putting in the effort. Things are going pretty well when we discount Trish's weekly attempt to talk to Fang. That's pretty non-persistent, all things considered. That's about as much as the average uh, Discord weirdo will attempt, really. Non-persistent uh, Discord weirdo, I guess. Rose and Stella have helped with that. In fact, they have done a lot in our relationship. It's really weird, almost like we're doing some sort of harem thing or non-committal. I don't know what to say about it. It's almost like it's done for merchandising reasons. <laughs> but we're distracting Trish and giving us space just to be together on the weekends from everyone. Only downside is... The only downside to it all is the fucking gardening we have to do during our alone time. Still, things are going good. And right now, I'm gonna win all prank war. Oh, this was the part I was talking about. She may have gotten me with that stupid kiss prank. How the hell she found a mouse out that small, I'll never know. But I got a special packy treat for her today. For once, I can use my weebiness for the greater good. I did remember to remove the, the little dude picture, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's out of there. Hey, sweet tooth. Fang groans with the pet name. Honestly, it hurts me to say it too. I considered using her mom's pet name, but after last time, I didn't want to tempt her. Phase one complete, she's to distract and check the box in my hands. Want to play the pokey game? Or pocky? It's pocky, right? Pokey. Pokey. How do you play that? Well, I hold one of these. I love that it's, like, obviously wasabi colored. <laughs> too. I take one of the sugary green sticks from the box and hold the plain end to my teeth. I turn our trees. Then you have to take a little rip. And try to bite off as much you can without touching my face. Fang narrows her eyes in suspicions and cautiously moves her head towards mine. It's just chocolate. She moves in and crunches down on the book's like centimeters away. That's a long distance. Looks, centimeters, plural, is an inch minimum. Ish. Two centimeters is like less than an inch, but once you hit three, you're over. Jackpot. Her face contorts immediately. She spits it up. Wasabi is a very weird kind of spicy. I had, like, fresh-made wasabi once. And uh, it's a it, it, it gets to the roof of my mouth, and it gets a weird. Unlike spicy food, which makes my mouth go woo. Very different. What the fuck is that? Where did you even get those? What is this spiciness? I don't can't place it. I barely contain my laughter as Fang downs the rest of her coffee. I love how she just has a fucking cup of coffee with her. <laughs> In the fucking class. Let's just say Stella gets all sorts of weird snacks from Japan. Like wasabi pocket sticks. Fang looks ready to strangle me, but I have one card left to play. <clears throat> I have amnesty for today. April Fools. Payback for the mousetrap from the other day. She growls that and jabs me in the shoulder. I guess I deserve that much. Before I can make my retort, an answer comes over the speakers. I, I listen. We're gonna we're gonna look this up. I want to know what the fuck that actual sound clip is called. Hold the phone. Are your phones held? Thank you. Please secure them. It is called Spear Yell Rumble Voice PA. <laughs> Jesus. And the fucking sound the music is called. We just turned on the microphone in our programmer's house. <laughs> Well, that's a great thing to call your audio files. <laughs> I know, Scary Dave. Anyway, this is where he's like, them. Oh, I'm so pronouns. 
I'm so pronouns now. I'm such a progressive man. After, you know, being a fucking asshole. <laughs> Look how progressive I've gotten. Turning back to Fang, her hands are trying to cover her face. Except for the frown that's impossible to hide with a long beak. I think you're okay. An embarrassed smile forms as she begins to shake her head. Yeah, I'm good. Just was reminded of something embarrassing. Sir Charles? Trish. Trish. I can't help it. I see her every day. We tried signing up for as many classes as possible. And now we're regretted. Oh, wait, that's. We tried signing up to as many classes together as we could, and now we're regretted. Every time I do, I'm reminded of this whole thing. Now, I'm not good at the pronoun game, Vang. What whole thing? That. The pronoun thing. Now things are different. Well, I wish I hung out with Nasa more than understand in the way she said it. How do they mention that has been very weird lately? Should I mention to Fang the fact that every day in math period I try to check if there's a bomb under my seat? You're the one I see the least. It's such a shame. Fang starts stroking my hand on the table. Wait, wh when has Fang's name changed? When has it changed? When does the name change? Tell me. I have to know. You legally have to tell me. Now, though, I've been thinking, and uh, I wouldn't mind uh, if you call me Lucy. Oh, well, right now, right? I prefer it, in fact. I. Are you sure? Why are you making a big fucking deal out of it? I shouldn't you be like the first fucking person in the entire goddamn universe who's like, no, okay. Just like the nameplate gets slapped off the UI and he just goes. There's fragility to a voice, a stiffness in her heart. But if Lucy would like... Listen, once you become Lucy, this outfit does not work. Ditch the outfit. It does not work. You, this is not a Lucy. Jeez. All right, then. I'll change the user interface. She blushes again and looks away. I test her name a couple of times. It's nice, really sweet, but... A fang fits more in my mind. Like, you can't be called Lucy and look like you belong in a punk band. I'm just saying, Fang, you're kind of fucking it up for me. We had a whole vibe going. I disrespect your pronouns and you beat the shit out of me. <sighs> I need to know when this changes, because I'm kind of curious if there's something internally that handles this. Actually, I just remembered that the way internally this handles this probably doesn't connect with pictures, so it has an internal thing for Lucy specifically. Thank for some more in my mind. Wait, 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 yeah, she's still called Fang in the, in the good ending. In the good ending, all the way to the end, she's called Fang. That's interesting. Interesting, Mr. Jones. Oh, look. <laughs> it's Lucy now. Nice. Oh, God. It's actually written out as Lucy. Interesting. Because Anon is A and Fang is F. But this is just Lucy in the code. Only you, though. I don't know if I'm comfortable with everyone else saying it. Yeah, because everyone else is going to be like, what the fuck are you doing call being called Lucy? <laughs> I see. Now, thank you for sharing that with me. You know, if this was ending four and not written by a bunch of weirdos, that would be kind of cute, because that kind of detransitioning means a lot to some person, but I don't think Anon has the capacity in this ending to actually know what the fuck is going on. You know, it's like if an alien who doesn't understand what sex is gets told, like, I want I want to lose my virginity, and he's like, I don't know what a hymen is. What the fuck are you talking about? Why is this important to you? Get out of here. You're weird. Now nah, both of us are blushing. Well, avoid in the moment, I might as well ask. Anyways, Flucy. Don't stress yourself out, friend. Right, right. Anyways, um. Prom, right? Am I right, gamers? <laughs> Amber's. Yeah, thanks, Amber's eyes zero in on mine. And I already fucked it up. The pleading gaze bowls through my souls and feel unstoppable urge to comfort in any way possible. 
fast and loosey. Get out of here, Cloaker. No. <laughs> no. <clears throat> uh, you want to go with me? I can't afford the tickets, but hey. <laughs> okay, I'm looking this up, by the way. This song is called Fuck, Fuck You Like I... L Fuck You I Like the Shit Post. It's a good song. This game is good. I like it a lot. But man, if anything, it's just the one that gets me. Because, again, I would... I'm totally on board with the idea of the detransitioning of everything. But I feel... I really, really feel that it works way better if Anon knows what the fuck it means. If Anon sits there and goes like, wow, huh, hmm. And it's not just like, I have to change words now, and it's it's annoying, and it's more like, I don't know what to think about this. <laughs> this is weird, I've known you for so long, and you're all like this, and now it's not like... I want to lose his face go redder and redder. It just feels genu disingenuous to me otherwise. Like I said with the Bavikan, I gotta earn that shit. You can't just have a sappy scene where Sage is like, wham, my parents, and then you never see the fucking parents. I need to see the parents. For some reason, I prefer the name Lucy over Fatma. I think the problem is that... Let me put it like this. That family does not deserve the heritage, is the problem. Also, everyone's name in that fucking game is just goofy. Mrs. Roberts? With an S? What? Like... I'm perfectly fine if you go like, but the, the, the problem is the story doesn't focus on Fang's background. Like, Fama is such a specific name and everyone else is called things like Reed and Trish, Patricia, like names that are more grounded in Western culture. And you have this one person who's like from fucking India, was it? What? What? But it's not their main character trait, it's just the background details in the living room. And it just, Lucy works better because it feels like Fang fucking exists in this part of the world. And it makes sense within it, because okay, let, me, let me let me let me let me let me let me do the teacher thing where I like just put turn the seat. I can't do that with this chair. I would fall over. Um, imagine if I just turned the seat around. Like, listen, kids, you can play that card in two two ways. No more for this particular purpose. One, the parents are culturally disconnected from Fang. Fang grew up in Western land where everyone is LGBT stuff. And Fang is disconnected from their parents because they are grown up in an American culture compared to the to the to the culture of the of the parents. That's a great story. Fantastic. Fatma makes sense because it's like they're clinging to their to their heritage. And Fang is like, no, I'm me. And they're like, no, we're us. And that's great. That's a good story. Tell that story. The other story, as far as I can imagine, on a, on a dime. There's probably others who fucking cares. The other story is that they that they that they're a recent move, and Fang was born before they got to Volcano High. So Fang is now steeped in this culture and finds it exotic and mystical. And this idea of, like, changing your gender is very exciting. It's like, oh, man, I get to be something my parents don't know or care about, and, and it feels liberating to be something different, you know? Move away from what she already knows. Neither of those are brought up. So making Fang this one fucking character with an explicitly non-Western name is just weird! <laughs> Like, if you're not going to use it, don't use it. It feels like tokenism at that point. That's the problem. That's tokenism. It's, it's there, but who cares? Or you play it up for a laugh. We don't even see Fang's parents in the flesh. They exist exclusively like fucking pictures. Which, I know the whole game is made of pictures, but you get my point. Okay, listen. That part, the, the one fucking part where they bring this up, where not cussing them all, we're talking about the bonfire here. That point should have been brought up sooner. And made more of a point. What does it fucking mean? I don't know. Fang mentions while well, my family's like this. Why are they like that, Fang? Would you like to tell us something about the fucking world you live in and how that world affects you? Would you like to talk to us? What your family's up to? Maybe for fucking once? Talk about some things, maybe? Some context? May I have a crumb of context, sir? <sighs> I hate it. It makes me angry. So much makes me angry right now. All of these visual novels are making me angry. Making me grumpy little boy. <laughs> <sighs> her, lips turn, her lips turn from a thin smile to an Im ma impressively massive grin. She tries to cover up her face and her snoot fucking vanishes because this pose does not work otherwise. And she tries to cover her face with her hands. What fails to hide a growing excitement until the wind? Okay, I have a problem with this. Why is Fang such a weenie? <laughs> Why did Fang turn into a weenie? 
Like, Fang had a degree of assertiveness to them, right? And now that's just like, oh boy, this random guy is asking me out, oh boy. I mean, he's not random. There's a lot of connections there, but... It doesn't... I would have preferred it if it starts off a little soft, and then later it's like, man, I can't believe this, you know. Although it's been a period of time that we haven't experienced, and we just saw, like, Fang just yell at Trish. So, they're like, we just saw Fang yell at Trish. We already have... <laughs> Man, wouldn't it be great if we cared about Fang and we knew why Fang had troubles with their family and why Fang was in a difficult situation and we all felt like, man, I really want Fang to succeed. Man, I would love it if my protagonist is a relatable character that I care for and wants to, I wanna, I wanna go, yeah, you get him, you get him, yeah, put up them dukes, boy. Wouldn't that be great? A story where the protagonist is, it has, a, has a point. Like, I know that in Star Wars, Luke Skywalker is a blank stand-in, and you need one of those characters. And if you don't have a blank stand-in, you need to have characters organically drop elements. Like, here's the thing, right? If you don't have a straight man in your story who who can ask the obvious fucking questions, you need to be more cov you need to be less covert with your plot drops. Your plot drops, because no one's gonna ask the questions, right? You could just listen. You want to know who's great for this? Sage, or Rosa, or someone like that, who knows Fang, but doesn't know Fang's family, and can go like, Hey, Fang, you always mention your family is such a such a murderous lot who want to kill you and hang you and, and burn you alive. Why is that? That sounds kind of fucking weird when you think about it. <laughs> and it's like, well, where I'm from, you know, someone like me would be wedded off or something. Or even as simple as, like, you know, your parents have that authority over you, you don't get to decide that for yourself, and if you do, you know, you just get kicked out of the family, and that's an honor crime, and then they kill you for honor killing reasons. Like, you don't have to be extreme about it, you don't have to be like that, but just the idea of, like, no one there will ever understand this, and they will think I'm weird and need to be beaten into submission for this. It's good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. The problem, here's the problem that I think happened along the way. From what I gather from the document, one of the big things that happened about the how they killed it is someone realized that this is going on and kind of sensitive. <laughs> someone realized, uh-oh, it turns out this is still happening to LGBT people. Might be a little awkward to actually talk about that stuff they want to talk about. So let's not. Let's pretend everything is fine. That's infantilizing and tokenizing and bad. Here's my middle finger. You may cash it in any bank. Corporate cowards. I want the bad queers. I want the, 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 the visceral story because it's fucking good. Because when you give kids and teenagers a story that doesn't compromise on itself, you it does, like, you have to dumb it down a little bit. You don't want to tell kids about fucking genocides and stuff. But if you give them a story, they'll learn a lot more than if you tell them the feel-good version. Because kids ain't stupid. Teens ain't stupid. If you're willing to talk to them, you know? They're still fucking idiots because they haven't learned everything. But but don't do this. They deserve this. They deserve the hard-hitting questions. Give it to them. Let them have it. Let them sit there and go, man. Because of all that tragedy and all the obstacles, I feel so good about the ending. Man, look at look at all these things Fang has overcome and how great that is. New family, new found family. Sure, they can't go visit the family, but why would Fang care about that family? They want to fucking kill Fang. So <clears throat> the plot is left on the table for no reason. <clears throat> It also creates a bit of a plot hole. As I mentioned, um, we don't know anything about Pangea, and Pangea appears to be a far better place than we live in, but it also is a world with one government? I think it's implied that they have no other countries because they have communities. And, like, I don't know about you, but uh, they don't seem to... Like, their problems are, like, immediate relatives. Like... Don't know about you, but as far as we know, Mrs. Roberts never calls out Fang. LJ doesn't call out Fang or Sage or anything. So it's like your your family cares because they're probably like the most affected by it on an emotional level. But you get it, right? You, you get the point I'm trying to to to, to, to approximate. Is this? Just... Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't care. We're putting on we're putting on the line that I love so much. We're pu we're putting on we're putting on the cat line. <sighs> you, you need to you need to listen to this. You need to listen to this. That's what I am. That's what I am. I'm angry. Also, I probably blew your ears out because <laughs> I keep forgetting the sound is like really loud. Shit! I'm so dumb. Uh, anyway, let's. <sighs> we're not even thirty minutes in, and we're ten minutes in. <laughs>
When that fails to high grow excitement, her wings engulf a rubber body. A squeal of elation penetrates her feather cage, accompanied by the staccato beat of boots stomping rapidly. Don't do that with boots. It's not good for your boots. Once the sound of tribulation dies down, Lucy lowers her wings. She takes a calming breath and shrugs nonchalantly. Yeah, sure, you can play it fucking cool now. <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll be cool. Although I guess the point is that Fang is like falling apart of the scenes and Anon is like the recovery guy, so fair enough. The whole class is snickering, I have to fight back my own. You're a loser, Fang. I'm sorry. Sadly, it was a great it was a photo for greater than I. <laughs> oh shut the fuck up. Oh no! Up the shit fuck! I did. I'm allowed to be happy. While her voice was petulant there, there was an underlying tone of cheer to it. I reassured Lucy with a smile, which responded by lowering her wings until they folded neatly behind her. Yeah, although I should warn you that I can't dance for shit, your feet have been worn. Wear boots, steel-toed ones if you can. That's fine. I'll step on your feet first. Use your wings! Crap, I need a suit. You're mumbling again. And, uh... I could ask Nasser for his old one. Well, I was thinking something like that, but I probably just asked my dad for his old one. Also, Nasser's suit would have wing holes in them, and you'd look weird. Here's a tailored for humans, after all. You silly walk around all night with wing holes, exposing my undershirt. And there's the tail. Oh god, no! My cheeks! <laughs> but yeah, my dad's suit should work fine, even if it's a bit old. You should tell me about the parties he went to when it was about my age. Yeah, he sounds like a lot of fun. Anyways, you got something to wear? My mom's party already brought the perfect outfit for me. But the announcement for prom was... But the announcement for prom was just earlier this period. And... Sounds like a date, then. Fang's smile is cherubic. Cherubic? Cherubic? Before I can fully memorize it. Saved by the bell, it's alright cause I'm safe, it's alright cause I'm safe, it's alright cause I'm safe by the... Crap, the assignment. Oh, we're mostly done with it anyways. I look at all, mostly done. Flipping it over the backside is twice the questions and four times the blank spots. Mostly halfway? I simply sigh and drop the sheet. Finish it at my place. It's like a second day. What the fuck is the work assignments around here? I was under the impression you had to finish these before the end of class or something. Or is that just out of sheer convenience? Well, later at my hovel of a home. I want candy. I want candy. I forgot, we have like three more chapters to go through. Leave mind if anything. It's fruit loose now. Almost finished. I love Rainbow in the background. There's my there's my boy. There's the man, the plan. I wish I could get some help for the other area system. Fuck man. I should keep staring at me at class. Expecting me to talk to her. I gotta avoid Reed and Stella now because they're always around her too. It's agonizing. I keep in this dream where she mans up and I'm forced to talk to her again. She's like home nightmares now. No, this way to get the help. With the exercises, I mean. But I hope I can't picture the camping trip. Well, it's all done. All of it. Thanks, Anna. You're a pretty cool guy. No, you're not! No problem. I just like helping you, I guess. And throwing my controller at things. Actually, she kicked me. And without asking anything in return. Well, I wouldn't mind the penis. What? Oh. Oh, that doesn't work like that with you, does it? Oh. Oh. Ha. Huh. Must have been on the wrong page then. Look at these gorgeous pieces. I feel like we just talked about a level of writing on par with New Vegas, which would. I I love stories where the, there is no right answer, and it's just like, hey, what what do you think is more important, buddy? Let me let me let me let me put this down for you, right? You know, it'll be a very interesting version of Goodbye Volcano High. L let's let's put this one down, right? You know, it'd be pretty fucking cool for Goodbye Volcano High. A version where y you basically get one of three major choices. They are reconcile with Fang's family. There is build on a on a on a secondary family or build on the core friendships. So it's like, do you hang out with Trish and Reed and work on the band and on your future? Do you work on a support network that can help you through the tougher times? Or do you try to rekindle your old support network with the risk they might not accept you and they might force you to do things you're not comfortable with? 
Like, do you choose the way that makes life easy? Do you choose the way that makes life worth living for? Or do you choose the method that at the very least gives you a chance? That's a fun, that's a fun choice. It fucking sucks ass, but it's great, <laughs> doesn't it? It's also extremely real, and a lot of people would go, Ow, my hurt my feelsies, but hey. Look at these goobers. Why are you called Lucy? Why is your tail so small? It's so chunky. It's... it's oh. This song is way too assertive for how they're sitting around like goofballs. And again, Anon is just not physically present in the scene. You really need more contrast, man. Instead of this gradient. You're so good to me. Uh, thanks, Lucy. Really nothing you want from me? No sex before marriage. I'm written by some Catholic guy. <laughs> you mean to pay? I don't know. Things are too good now, though. More naps. Or perhaps hug. And nap. Oh, man. We're going to the steamy part of the hand. Hold my hand, Fang. Hold it. And... I'm sweating profusely. No, you apologize profusely. You sweat like an otter. Maybe... Jesus fucking Christ, you guys are lame. You're teenagers. You've been through tough emotional times. Everyone knows this is where you bone. This is the bone zone. And everyone is like, this is slightly uncomfortable because these people are 18 years old and they're not out of high school. Wow. 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 A kiss? With that huge snoop? Face changing. It's a kid Why are you, are you afraid? Never kissed a dinosaur before? No! For reasons that I mean, uh, never kissed anyone really. You know, not even my grandmother with the cheek. Not even a human girl. Uh, so I'm your first. That's exciting! You know. Why is the song so stupidly assertive? No, we're turning this song down. It's Way too assertive for what's going on. They're, they're being little goobers. <laughs> this song is for when you walk into walking down the street taking names. And on you're such a loser. Ah, this is so weird. I don't know what I feel about right now. Don't you feel weird too? I've kissed shorter snouts. Yours can't be that different. Actually, they probably would be. Human lips are fairly articulate, all things considered. And that's on top of the fact that they're really not like most... Like, lizards don't have lips. Even if you consider that they can move whatever they have there, not the same as human lips. Human lips are fucking weird. They're wet on the inside, and they can curl outwards. Yeah. Why are humans like this? You know, I lay an egg, and I'm like, this is perfectly normal, and then to see a human do the lip inversion is like, yeah! It's like watching... You know what? Do you know what? It's a hemorrhoid joke, by the way. I think it's adorable that, like... <laughs> I love that Fang is like, hey, I've kissed before, and it's like, who? Who did you kiss Fang? I need to... L let's get this out of the way. Who the fuck is Fang making out with? <laughs> really? Because it's applied they're like these outcasts. Trish? Reed? Like, you probably kissed Reed while he was unconscious, and Trish, I don't know, like, in, in a moment of friendship, more than anything. Come on. Who did you get lessons from? You gotta tell me. I'm a cop. <laughs> Look, Anon, if this doesn't work out, you won't change anything, right? Pro promise. Of course I promise. Now get over, you fucking pussy. Okay. I won't bite, though. Though I've never had human before. Okay, here goes. Isn't there like a... There's like a whole bit of script that's like... Um, or like a page in the in the art book that's like, man, this kissing scene does not work. <laughs> the kissing scene does not work on paper. Well, that's just the lips. I'm sorry. Yeah, we can turn the music back up because it's not goofy anymore. The, the tongue. Come on. Dude, we're talking about making out. We're not talking about kissing your grandmother. Don't bring my grandmother into this. What are you doing? I'm checking my bank account. 
Your mouth hinges way back. I have to hang my... What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, you don't put the f snoot in there. That's why you use the tongue. <laughs> you dumbass. Don't do that. It's It looks so dumb. Oh, wait, you open wide now. Do we need a 5-inch Allen wrench for this? That's even sillier. Yeah, Fang opening their mouth wide. Any pictures doesn't look great. Lucy, I guess. Oh, God, how long is your tongue? I think I almost threw up. Well, if you ever want to get bulimic, I can help you. <laughs> oh, Ugh, I think I reached your tonsils. Ugh. What? His tonsils? Ugh. I mean, uh, fun fact, in Kabaviken, Ohio, do we get a good look at Fang's tongue? The most I get is, I think, uh, tongue stuck out during the picture scene. But. There. But. But. There is a picture on Fang's uh, page. On the, on the wiki. And it demonstrates that Fang's actual tongue is fucking long. If it's considered canon... Um, the Fang unimpressed dot gif shows that Fang's tongue is at the minimum uh, almost as long as the snoot, which you know, fair enough. Stuck out of the mouth, which is a fucking long distance. I mean, I guess the human tongue can about double this from back. Uh, we're close. I guess. What's this? I had a brain fuck moment to Kabavakin Ohio. Fang spends more time with family equals pros. Get closer with the family cons. Don't get, don't get Naomi bit. I mean, if you make Naomi, like, an interest, you could make one of the choices, one of the three or four big choices, like, Naomi, and, like, pursue a romantic relationship. Benefit, you have someone that you can li move in with. And, her, and, hey, hey, remember that expanded family thing? Maybe Naomi's family is like, hey, you know, you can be non-binary with us and we're perfectly fine, you can move in. You know, adopting, that kind of stuff. Y you can have that. And if Naomi is, like, a fun character you want to hang out with and isn't a fucking creepy stalker that Kane tells you to hang out with because she's a creepy stalker, you can work with that. You can fucking work with that. By the way, the creepy stalker thing would be way better if, like, Fang already knew. Because you already know, the story has already told the player about this. Just that Fang already know. So Fang is like, ah, oh, Naomi, fine, I'll humor you. You know, it's kind of cute. It'd be kind of fucking cute then. But you can live with this. You can make Naomi, like, this secondary character. Like, you can hang out with the friends and try to make the band work. You can make work with the family. Or you can get Naomi. I don't know. I can see that work. That's a fun one. I don't know. Words. They're hard. And my tonsils have been licked. My tonsils have been licked. Yeah. And on why do you still have your tonsils? You seem like the kind of kid who is like, I have a tonsil infection, just so you get all to eat all the ice cream. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no, it's it's fine. Let me let me let me think. Uh, I'm gonna get a degree in engineering for this. Let's try the other one again. This is not nearly as complicated as they make it out to be, right? Like, there are two ways this can go. Prehensile lips, aka the lips can move, you just fucking kiss. Non prehensile lips, sure, Fang can't do the interlocking thing, right? Fang can't do the interlocking muzzles thing. But you're, you know, mechanically it's the same thing. You just don't interlock. You just park right in front and make it work. I don't know why they're making such a big deal out of this. It's just a little kiss. Why are you so fucking stupid, Fang? I do appreciate that Fang actually mentions the word muzzle. Oh, snouts. Yeah. Let's try the other one again. Okay. But what about the penis? God damn it, Anon. Why are you still looking at that Wikipedia page? I'm just disappointed is all. <laughs> I had ten bucks writing on this with Trish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Someone told me that Angels with Scaly Wings has has mods. Never heard of them. Never seen them. And he's not telling me about them, so... Bleep. Bleep. I want candy. Bum, 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 bum. I want candy. Don't open wide. Wait. Like, just just hire an engineer. Tilt to the side like this. 
Also, considering how long Fang's tongue is, right? Right? Assuming t Fang's tongue goes out, like, to the tonsils at the mouth. Although if she... Okay. I think this assumes that Fang's tongue doesn't go anywhere. I'm pretty sure most lizards can can throw their tongue fucking miles outwards. So, like, again, you're making... I, I don't know what, what the problem here is. You can have kissing be one-sided, right? If you hook up with a bird and they have a beak, a bird person ain't gonna fucking learn to kiss. The lips don't move, because it's a beak. You know, there are limitations. You're gonna have to learn what a cloaca is. And you're gonna have to deal with that. You just can't escape it. There's no getting around it, buddy. If you... you you, you gotta take the good with the bad. There's no way around it. <laughs> I keep gaining and losing viewers as I start talking about things no one wants to think about. It's great! I don't know. I never get the hang of this. Are you sure they don't, like, offer flyers at the wedding for, like, hey, you're an interracial couple, you should probably read up on this. Yeah, we should probably go to church and steal one of those. That's not what I meant! <laughs> really? I think it was, um... Nice. Wait, seriously? <clears throat> it re... What? Re real Bert? Uh, what? Hmm? Listen, I, I, I know that, like, a lot of lizards... Quite a few animals actually have, like, places they put the genitals when they are not in use. And some even have bones in the penis. It's called a penis bone. Which is, uh, something. I'll tell you that much. But, uh, aren't there, like, a whole bunch of primates closely, believed to be closely associated with humans that have, ugh, whatever. Um, point is, I can't imagine that, like, that probably... But Fang was, like, Fang did the down gaze, right? Like, Fang, hanging out with Nasser and stuff, like, goes, looks down at, at the goods. So it's implied that dinosaurs are operating on a similar level, at the minimum. Because otherwise, Fang wouldn't know to do that. Or wouldn't be able to figure it out on a, on, a, on a quick dime. Or maybe she's looked before. In which case, it's somehow even worse. Because Anon is already uncomfortable. And Fang doing it in private? Mm. I mean, yes. Kind of part of the whole proceedings. But Anon is clearly a fucking wimp. You gotta warm this man up first. You gotta sit him down and have a talk. Alright, Anon. <laughs> first off, we no, we cannot use the eggs to make an omelet. And Fang is just laughing their ass off the whole way through. Because he's just so confused. Yeah, you're not a bad kisser. Bullshit. S seriously, here. Don't, don't, don't do this to me, Fang, please. Don't be shy now. I am not shy. I'm just incapable of breathing. Lucy. Listen, I love Lucy. It's a good show and everything, but... Wham Ban Straight to the Moon. That's a whole different fucking show, dude. Really? I, I would have preferred if he was just bright fucking red in the shot. He was just like beaming. Play Apes of the <laughs> My brain is already firmly rotten, good sir, Mickman. These games have not done anything to my brain that wasn't already thoroughly rotten. From a ripe young age, I've been exposed to the worst. See? Getting better. How do your wings work like that? Why would they bend forwards like that at all? Like, I get it. It's cute for the scene, but your wings are not designed to work like that at all. This is not how it works. That's not how feathers work. This is, there's so much artistic liberty with you, with your snoot and your appendages. I'm just saying, Fang. I'm very upset. I will fire the man who did this. I can feel your heart beating. It's so loud. Hey, what blood type are you again? And she... It's a huge syringe. <laughs> yeah, same. Please sell it at market value. <sighs> it's been a few weeks since I asked Lucy out to prom. I gotta say, things are looking up for me right now. Lucy's gotten... Lucy's really taken to help and Rosa with the school guns. Rosa doesn't force me to help anymore, but I frequently lend a hand. Just earlier today, Lucy and I... Oh, that doesn't work. Some hydrangeas. I was set to bloom in just a few weeks. Oh, we're camping! If 
I wasn't on YouTube, I would rattle off all the things I know that you don't want to know about. I would destroy you. I, I slip my hands into these comfortable gloves, and there's this wet squelching sound, and that's the exact moment you know you fucked up. Because I know to lubricate the inside of, this, of these things. I'm not fucking stupid. They're Oprah glove. They're Oprah length rubber gloves. They don't just slide on. You gotta lube them. And then you get that sporch. And you might have to use some talcum powder. Careful with chlorinated things, by the way. Because you will chlorinate your rubber. And this is a whole different experience. I've been told. And that's just the surface of what I'm willing to share. Don't tempt me. This gun is loaded with the dirtiest things you can think of. It's also somewhere over, over my fireplace, because it's a nice Chekhov's gun, if anything. And now I'm setting up a pair of tents. I keep breaking my hands trying to do so, because I'm a nerd. <laughs> what the fuck is that moon? It's all purple. The purple moon. God, I just love the broken anatomy in this, though. It's, it's such a charming little detail that every character looks just slightly off in every way. And that goddamn pop collar. Ugh. Hello. Despite being in a group of four, you got scammed, buddy. Oh, so that's why, so that's why this is here. Stella's chatting me about, about the SS Herrick, while school delinquents get the Orwellian treatment from Rosa, who swaps between helping Fang plant some kind of exotic flower, I don't know, and barking orders. I understand maybe a third of what Stella's saying, and mostly just not along. Night's really important because the moon will be in perfect alignment for my divinations. All right, lunar eclipse. Is that the one where you can't see the moon or where you can't see the sun? It's also called a blood moon for its color. It's very important night for me, Anon. Or should we go like the silent treatment, because it's a silent movie, because Anon has the shittest memory, apparently, and cannot remember anything in color. <laughs> That's no color memory. I feel as though my divinations will be at their best under the crimson glow. But camping. Yes. My backyard is very big. Long bus ride to school. I can see the stars at night so well. So Stella has slumber parties often. Slumber parties? Hey, Anon, we should go. Wait, why? I'm gonna stargazing on it. Just imagine it. But camping, we can't just... Come on, Anna, don't you want to watch the stars with me? Lucy's pleading eyes lock on to mine. All right, as long as we have tents, I don't want to deal with the insects. As long as we have tents... Me and my stupid fucking mouth. I... <laughs> I like the idea that, like, nobody wanted to do the tents except then. <laughs> they were all like, yeah, we're fine with roughing it. You know, getting our clothes dirty and roughed up and damaged. That's fine. Finally, I managed to get us posts to stick into the soft soil. One down, 19 to go. Uh, now Lucy's going to use those cute sad eyes whenever she wants something. And no alone time with her since all the girls are working at the grill. Hey, you guys aren't just making dinner with that gross herbivore meat, right? Of course, I've always prepared to serve guests. Wait, which ones were which again? If I bite into even a single box, your cards are going into the campfire. <laughs> hey, camping is supposed to be relaxing. Relax? When you are done with the tents, you need to stop the campfire. Wh why me? Well, that's a human thing. Rosa and Stella flinch and exchange glances. Just, think of, you know, that's, that's what humans do, right? They make fires. Why would I... Are you talking about my ancestor Prometheus? I'll tell you that man knows a thing or two about fire. The principle fits the bill so well. I guess that it's just him. Oh, quit teasing him. Who cares if you haven't evolved a fire? <laughs> I trip into the tent and tell the whole thing. You put in one post. It is not up. That tent is not erected yet. You binks. By the time I get both of the... Why do you have 20 poles for two tents? What the fuck? By the time I get both of the tents standing, the sun is near the horizon. I can imagine three, like two to hold it up, and then one in the center for the entrance. Maybe four if it's like an especially big tent. But 20? You bingus. By the time I get both tents standing, the sun is nearing the horizon. Back already hurts from setting everything up. How does PE not toughen you up, my, my man? Do you even have PE in Volcano High or is it one of those prestigious schools where no one has to do PE? Michael Lucy carries around a lighter for a cigarette, so I was able to start a small fire. Slump on one of the logs around the fire pit and try to massage my shoulders. Oh, hello, Anon. Uh, is the food ready? Stella and Lucy are getting some plates to use. Just taking, just taking a seat for a minute. Thanks for inviting Lucy and I to camp back here. 
do not think me. I'm just very happy to have friends over. Although normally I struggle to make friends there. At least must thank you for setting them up for me. Oh, it, it was nothing. Stella calls out from the back door to Rosa's house. She's returning with Lucy holding extra utensils and snack foods. Rosa weighs them up. I never pictured Frank coming over. Lucy is really lucky. To I have a real problem with this. Because why is Rosa using both? Why are you using both, Rosa? You seem like the kind of person to set on one. Just saying. Stella struggles to separate the false shish kebabs from the real meat before handing it. Listen, you can tell. I don't give a shit. You can tell the difference between real meat and fa fake meat. They are not the same. Says man in suit. <laughs> Lucy gets that look in her eye and snags the bigger one right off. Even Ty draws near. I believe it is best to sojourn from the faded ones, Rosa. My scrying glass awaits. Is this when people think she's cute? Because it's pretty fucking dorky. What? What? I don't... I don't speak whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> I believe Stella means the sun is setting and when you could set up a telescope. Why didn't she just say that? Rose and Stella takes their plates of imposter shish kebabs and start walking to the other end of Rosa's yard. See you later, buddies. I have something I want to point out. It's just a small aside, but it, it, it's important to me. Someone told me, you know, I think I mentioned this before. In Gabavakin Wahai, herbivores have nails, and the carnivores have claws. Don't do that unless you distinguish them. <laughs> I understand it's a cute detail, like, oh, because the carnivores have the claws. One, a bunch of herbivores have claws for self for self-defense. And two... This implies dietary differences, because that evolves because of dietary differences. And if there are no dietary differences, then what the fuck are you even doing? It's never brought up. When Fang started eating, like, random sauces, I would have thought it was a perfect time to just bring up casually, like, Ugh, I hate eating, you know, meat or something. Like, it's something simple. Like, it's so weird being a her being a vegetarian as a, as a, as a, as a, as a carnivore. Like, you can do cute stuff with that. You can make a little scene out of it. It doesn't have to be much, but it's cute. And, and it makes people go, ooh. Fang shrugs and he starts devouring food. Because how would you otherwise notice that detail? Because who the fuck brings it up? But nothing to do with wait for night time. I begin also begin to remove the kebab. Uh, I think Stella undercooked this. Give me yours. No way, you have your own. You can digest raw meat, I'll just die. Well, I want yours too. You're supposed to share with your girlfriend. Damn her and her filthy terror logic. Fine, you can have a bite. Hold out the meat on a stick for her. She grins wickedly. I realize my mistake was to see why. <laughs> yeah, of course, she could just eat the entire thing at once. Once she pulls away, I'm left holding a crispy, yes, clean wooden stick. Mmm, stolen food is the best food. Well, that was uncalled for. Here, take the gross one. Lucy hands over her undercooked kebab. Isn't there a fire? Just, just heat it up. Just fucking hold it in the fire. Well, whatever, I like it raw anyways. You should be she leans her head on my shoulder. Why doesn't she like raw meat? Like, the whole thing with Damien gets what? <laughs> yeah, this was really undercooked. I'll just take over the fire to try. It's a fucking loser. That's just gonna burn the outside. Can't be harder than roasting a marshmallow, right? Did Rosa bring any? I think so. Marshmallows are made using a, a variety of pig and horse gelatins and all that fun stuff. Herbivores. Just wanted to ask. Just, 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 you know, just you can, you can hire someone who can tell you about the shit for free. Vegetarians won't shut up about it. Thanks, so. Save your kebab stick for them. I'd rather use a regular stuff off the ground than get a greasy marshmallow. You're, you're nuts. You're nuts. <laughs> Lewis and I listen to the crackling of the fire for a few more minutes. Somewhere in the distance, I have Stella yelling at Rosa about leaving the telescope cap on. Rosa said earlier, I'm lucky to have you. You feel lucky? I think it's the other way around. I do. That sounds right. I wouldn't have thought of about camping back in the first semester. <sighs> Guess I must have been changing a lot. Your kebab's on fire. Huh. Shit. I blow out and I'll burn chunks of meat. Uh, flambe? Lucy snorts. That's not flambe. I know there's marshmallows like that, but that should be pointed out. Chewing down on this is not the worst thing. I mean, I've had, like, really crusty meat like that. It's fine. Still want a piece? She just holds her mouth out. 
I put the stick in biting range and gnaws the chunk off. Yeah, it's not undercooked anymore. That's for certain. Looks like I put jet fuel on it. Lucy leans back into her arms, staring up at the night sky. I finish off the stick and join her. You just standing around? Fair enough. God, I love how the song is just like... I won't find it. Middle of nowhere. Reminds me of home. Well, to be fair, you're on the same planet, so it's probably home. The stars do? Oh, yeah, there wasn't all the light pollution around rock bottom. I mean, we literally lived in a hole in the ground that was like only the bus station, and that was only lit during the night, during the day. In the brief time I was in Scouts, I got to look at constellations a bit. Name a few. I don't remember now. It was like a decade ago. This is a night in the woods. I can't help you. Orion... Uh, Orion's Belt? Anyone can name Orion's Belt. Uh, Big Spoon, Little Spoon? In the difference. Yeah, also yes. Lucy arms and scoots close enough so I can wrap my arm around her shoulder. Ed leans on my shoulder. I can't help but smile. Something like this, then? Ah, close enough. An inch shorter. I... I think you can see Mars, too. It's supposed to be the red one. Uh, I think that's the moon I'm on. It's, it's a little big. It's a little big. <laughs> it's been a while, okay? Got your boyfriend some slack. I feel her head shake as she withholds a snicker for my sake. Still managed to get my badge, though. Aren't you the big strong man? Fuck it. A compliment's a compliment. ba 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 da ba ba <laughs> Moon get. Blood moon. We gaze up at the night sky in companionable silence. Ooh, look. Lisa points to the sky. Ooh, points to the sky at a shooting star. Why wouldn't you write that as a point at a shooting star in the sky? Why, well, you got a wish? It's not a shooting star, dork. Then what is it? It's one of those starlight flink satellites. How do you know that? Because it burns with chemicals, you idiot. They've been dropping like flies of late. I think they closed the program or something. Or someone forgot to renew their licenses. Isn't that dangerous? Nah, they're set to burn up 99% in the atmosphere. Or they'll pollute the atmosphere permanently. And you know, we get ourselves isolated on the planet as a result of space junk no one wants to clean up. Wow, that's depressing. The guy wants to go to Mars, but he also pollutes the orbit. What the hell is wrong with him, Anon? It's like he doesn't care about anything. He doesn't? I'll look again. The stars join with several small dots trailing behind. In the sky, for only an instant, all this being over the other horizon. Oh, a meteor shower. Still as incomprehensible gibberish breaches our ears. Lucy lays down to get a better view. Now Fang Point, I wear his icy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? What? Oh, that's pretty fucking cool, though. IC1101. Or as I'm called to call it, give me that fat hot dog. I just want a fat hot dog. I just want a nice, crisp, juicy hot dog at the moment. That's all I want. A little dirt on my clothes is worth the moment. Man, being here with Lucy after such a wonderful night. I feel like no matter what, everything's going to be just fine. I feel the same. I'm just going to stop biding my tongue. Thank you for being here with me, Anna. I mean, this was all you, Rosa, and Stella, and not me. Oh, you big dweeb, I mean. You've always been there for me, even though I was so mean to you. I don't know what kind of road I was going down when you met me, but I know it wasn't a good place to be. I know where I was going to end up if I never found you. Do you? It's like a whole bunch of alternative ending one and two fix you can choose from. There's one called None in the Chambers. I heard good things about it. Did you? Nah, I just looked at it and it looked pretty cool. The fat hot dog galaxy is the galaxy we all want but do not deserve. They say it's made out of an infinitesimal amount of hot dogs, each with a unique version of sauce. Give me that fat hot dog! I still got up. Hold on, there's something I got up. I 
I said, hold on. Stop rushing. I'm just a little man. Okay. Well, that's actually pretty nice. Okay, that's all fine. That works for me. You saved me, and, I'm, and I'll always be grateful for that. I didn't save you. Saving someone implies that I did something heroic or positive or whatever. All I did was destroy your friendships and make you realize you wasted your life. That's not saving. That's crashing a car into another car to stop it from hitting a train. She sits up and looks down at me with that warm smile of hers. You think I put it that way? Maybe I did fix Lucy and... She seems so happy with how things are, no matter if it's all a part of someone's stupid plan. Lucy's fingers dance across my cheek. You know, she can tell you're talking if, like, the fingers are on your cheek, dude, because, like, at that point, you're just, you, you, you can just feel the jaws. Give me that fat jaw dog. Give me that fat jaw dog. Slowly, slowly, ever so slowly, god damn it, we don't have the budget to keep the scene going for this long. It's a 21 minute episode. Her eyes, literally, she leans forward, her head tilting and her mouth opening slowly. It's taken a month to figure this out, but now that we've had practice, she manages to perfectly vomit a semi-digested kebab right into my mouth like birds do. I regret everything. I raise myself up, my own mouth meeting hers in a slow and soft connection. <gasps> the guy, <laughs> cyberpunk. What a comparison. Dong slides along mine, and this time she manages to not gag me with it. I mean, after a month, I hope you figured out how deep you can go. Our, f our first little 14 kisses never went this smoothly. For some reason, she kept insisting that she try to steal my tonsils, saying she needs a spare. And it's utter bliss as we savor each other's lips. Is it, though? Odds are it's more like a beak, my man. And while I could stay like this forever, if I could... Yeah, it was very much a necessity of life. You have a nose. Breathe through your nose. How far is that fucking tongue going? If she's not going to tonsil depth, she's not in your airway, man. Breathe! I can breathe while I have shit in my mouth. You can't, Anon? Are you that much of a wimp? Here, let me do it. Let me do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a big sip of water. I'm gonna breathe while the water is in my mouth. How refreshing! I took a breath of air while something was clogging my lips. Dork. I'm 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 harshing on a man who's just like, at some point we gotta stop kissing. <laughs> just in the background in the bushes with a megaphone, going boo. <laughs> the the fucking Patrick moment. We separate just as slowly as we connected. That's mostly because we don't want to damage the, the dongle. Lucy's eyes open as she smiles impishly at me. I love you. Yeah, me too. Just for tax purposes, though. <laughs> she giggles and lays down. I had resting on my shoulder and right wing pulling a blanket as we look at the stars. We stay a little while longer keeping the Red Moon company. Then it turns out the Red Moon's respawned all nearby enemies. Cass has shown up and... <sighs> well, worst of all is that we now got to fight a bunch of werewolves and stuff. Dude, that's the solstice. No, it's the Blood Moon. I'm pretty sure during the full moon the werewolves come out. Y you're thinking of the other guys, like the Frankenstein guy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I guess you're right. I just want a broken hero sword, alright? I want to make the big sword. One month later. They kissed. If I just fucking stopped my scenes with not as much of a data model as I did, maybe my, my story would flow a little faster. My old man was kind enough to... Isn't this, like, mostly the same? I think it's mostly the same, but unfortunately the game is like, no, it's still a separate fucking section. Fuck you. Took a bit of zoom, and I got it up pretty good. Yeah. Oh my god, it's shrink wrap Naomi. When I arrive at Fang's place with a cheap corsage, I see the prom again parasite waiting out on the front door. Great. Oh, dear god, I got you on my dress. The top half looks... 
I find that ironic since, again, if it was shrink wrapped to her body, then would it not cover the booba? Would it not go inward on the booba? Why does it do that on the legs? That's not how that works. It's hanging cloth. Also, if it's shrink wrapped, it would have reinforcements, you know? It's got to hold on to something to create that tension. I'm just saying, I know nothing about fashion. I just happen to have a lot of opinions. I'm over 100% certain there's nothing beneath the bottom half. You can tell, by the way. I have no idea where it would go otherwise. Oh, I already knocked Anon. on. Nasa will be out in a moment to invite us, and I'm sure Fang will be getting ready to. I heard the two of you are going to prom together. Ladies and gentlemen, the next Sherlock Holmes. No, I just happen to be in a suit to go golfing. Agnon said, focusing on not stabbing my palm even more on this flower's thorns. Why, why didn't you pick the thorns off me, man? It's gonna hurt the dress. Or the shirt. Fuck it. Free is free. Nothing more free than a five-finger discount from the Navy Yard. You and Fang are just the cutest couple. Did you sign up for prom, King and Queen? Nah, she said something about the thing she always talks about in all the other endings. Yeah, that's kind of lame. They could have changed it up for the endings. They are separate text boxes, after all. Yeah, I know, right? Would have been a funny gag to have it change a little bit, depending on Fang's and my mood. Well, Nasser and I have entered. We're gonna be prom royals. Oh, I can't wait to wear that beautiful BR. I picked it on everything in the crown for Nasser. I've already tuned her out in her freakishly long fingers. Nasser opens the door. I still don't get the cross. It. You're going to prom. Don't wear a cross to prom. People will think you're a narc. Oh, he's like smiling. Ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. The small turret actor comes up. <laughs> well, aren't you handsome? I need pictures. <laughs> Penis. I blink the blindness away. So that's why Nasa has those fucking aviators. I just realized that doing this whole thing and reading out the lines could technically function for someone who is blind. I am tempted to do that. But that would require the complete re-recording of everything with zero commentary. But, hey, blind people get to enjoy a little story, why not? I mean, there's probably better things you can hook- there's probably like a hookup you could plug into Rempi that does it for you, so whatever. Because it is just text. Text to speech exists. She's getting the last of her makeup on. In the meantime, have a seat. I've got some cookies in the oven that are almost ready. Ah, yes, thank you, ma'am. Man, your arms are so rough, dude. What the hell? Intimidating, the only chance we got to get Lucy out of the house. God damn it, I just want a little one off to write so I can get my mind off of things. We're all taking the mascot, right? Yeah, yeah. Once Fang gets done, we'll skedaddle. So until then, we just sit and chill? We could take more pictures! Please, no. I would love to take and make us a little photo app. But where are the Fang pictures? Get me those pictures of Fang! <laughs> Get me those pictures of Spider-Man. 30 photos later and I never want to see another camera again. Well, there's one on your phone, so sorry to tell you, buddy. Fang's mom decided to take pictures of every possible combination of us. I don't know which is worse, having to pose with Naomi or Fang's dad digging his murder gloves to my shoulder. I lost nearly all feeling in that arm. Pretty sure that'll leave Bruce worse than my celebrated hook with the stair ball of last night. At least the pics with Nasa were nice reprieve. We ended up looking like the Blues Brothers standing side by side in full goodly suits. Ah, uh, just about to resign myself with premature blindness on the camera flash, my savior arrives. Oh, Anon, you're already here. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. But... I have two major problems with this outfit. Can you spot them? 
don't wear your fucking skin color. Which is what this dress is dangerously close to. And don't wear a fucking cross, you narc. Otherwise, if we ignore the, the religious paraphernalia that really shouldn't be on Fang of all people, not at this point, not quite yet. Um, I like it though. That's pretty fucking cute. That's a nice dress. But I do have a soft spot for open shoulder looks. You, you get bonus po <laughs> points for open shoulders. But um, I like that it's a modest skirt, but it keeps the flowing dress. And it's got some nice little heels. I honestly don't see Fang as the kind of person who knows how to handle heels, but they're nice and low, so it works all right enough, I guess. Uh, Fang's expression is nice and toned down, but we don't see any makeup. But that might just be the distance. And it's got a little, little, little flower on, on the hair thing. On the, the thing. Lucy comes down in a white dress. The back of the dress trails down the stairs behind her. Can't say I'd imagine she ever will willingly wear one of those. Wow. <laughs> Talk about a glow down. <laughs> oh, that's such a massive drop. All the flower is lame and the hair lost its charm. But hey, we still got the open shoulders, I guess. Better festive dress. Fang or Olivia? I've seen one of Olivia's dresses. I've only seen ending two. I've been told that ending one is worse, and that ending four is a little much, and I forgot ending three. I heard ending three is the, is the best one from someone, and who knows? Maybe I'll love it. Uh, yeah, been here a while. Your dress looks great, Lucy. Oh, doesn't it? When I got school, see, I knew right away my <laughs> that my precious little getup I saw shopping the day before would be perfect. And even got NASA's outfit while I was at it. <laughs> I wouldn't find going in church clothes for the record. Oh, hush, you two. The two of you look like your father when well, your father and I met for a school dance. We'll look at Nasa's rather colorful getup for the moment. It was somehow less loud than his uh, usual jacket. I think the contrast on Nasa is so stark, though. Like pink and orange and then black and white. Like, ooh, you're screaming, man. You're screaming. Isn't that what Lance wears in, 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 in Vice City, though? Pretty close. He wears white, but deep, but dark purple. That's close enough. I mean, a white suit is a good idea in, the, in that climate, you know? Reflect some of the heat. Carmageddon? Oh, you remember it fondly, right, dear? Lucy's father has removed from his suit. I don't know, do I? Oh, I missed this one. <laughs> I remember you in that snazzy zoot. What is a zoot outfit? You saw me right by the punch bowl, strode right up and offered it. You met at... Ew! <laughs> That's actually kind of gross. Uh, like, prom hookups are lame. Oh, stop. I don't want to think about whatever the hell is... What is a zoot? What is a zoot? Wikipedia. Urban Dictionary. Spiff or joint? Oh. Zoot suit is a thing. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's that outfit! Ah, oh, I love that outfit. It's so good. They got like the really high pants and the big old baggy. Oh, they're great. It's a good suit, though. It's a good suit, though. Fuck it. Fab. Fashionable. Don't forget to know your meme. No, no, I, I know the zoot suit. I just didn't know it was called a zoot suit. It's a good suit! Doesn't doesn't the, the no doesn't the mask wear like a zoot ish no, he just wears a normal suit, right? I always remember like the, the, the mask. Where, where's like a zoot suit ish outfit? Or close or something. Mom, stop! I'm trying to create the mental image. Nope, can't do it. That look her dad has given me. It's saying you'll be upgraded to a putter if you ever speak of this to anyone. I can see where Fang gets her temper from now. Fine by me. Oh, but Lucy, you look so precious in that dress. Oh, we needed to get more pictures. Yep. <laughs> I kind of like the, the sunglasses on Nasser, because, like, how does that work with your crest, buddy? C c c do they, would they, like, make a little hole in it? 
I think it would have been late if you take out more pictures. Both Lucy and Nas are not in agreement for that. Oh, just a couple more pictures. Show me the Saudi student children. Are you going to prom? Yeah, why aren't you showing me your pictures? A bit of little thing or something like that. I will say that as much as this is a downgrade from the uh, the CG, it still looks cute, and I love that the corsage is bound by a little blue bracelet. That's just adorable. It's great. Very good dress. I think the color is a bit mm, and we lost the skirt that's underneath here, which I, I really think adds to the outfit because now it just looks like this is the dress. But having the white skirt underneath, that's a modesty skirt, you know, to, to, to cover things up so that other part can flow as much. Eh, you kind of you kind of lose me there, buddy. Also, I feel that Samantha would be the kind of mom to wear like a little flower in her hair just off for this occasion. Like a little thing you can just glue on the model. I feel a tug on my arm to spin around to give, see Naomi giving me a look of uh, unfiltered frustration. Naomi, we got the best ending in the game. Why are you so pissed? Oh, Lucy, there's a string coming out of your dress. Where are the scissors? I'll get them. Anon, come with me. Why? I don't even live here. It's, uh, the scissors are kept on the top shelf and I can't reach. She pushed me toward the kitchen. I don't even know how Nasa doesn't catch on to what she's doing. Because he doesn't... Because <laughs> he's already thinking about breaking up with her. <laughs> the plan is already there. <sighs> what are you up to, Naomi? She pinches the bridge of her nose and exhales slowly. Look, normally I'd be thanking you from the bottom of my warm heart for fixing Nasa and Lucy and Nasa's relationship. They're siblings and that's how it should be. Then what's the fuck she can... Let me finish... However, I don't think Lucy is completely fixed. You haven't gotten the good ending, Anon. You're wasting my time. She's still not talking to me. She runs away from everyone at school now, and Nasser keeps texting her. I mean, had to call him out on it because he was slacking on his school duties, behaving like a crass idiot. Just like you. What have you done to them both? The only thing I've done is support her. I didn't do it for you, your stupid plan. I just want to have a good time with Lucy and no more of that bullshit. Anon, I swear to God Almighty, if my night with Nasser's ruined because of Lucy's... Snare vanishes his place with the usual false smile. But okay, of course, you two deserve it after everything you've done. I suddenly feel another tug on my arm. This time, Ma Fang's mom dragging me back to the middle of the room. Kid, na man, this this is not satisfying at all. This feels like the game is just yelling at me. I don't want to get yelled at, game. Stop it. No need for scissors anymore, Anna. I've never gotten pictures of you with Anna and Lucy yet. Oh, please, God, no more pictures. Fine, but we should really get going if you want it. Just a couple of cities to your parents. I don't think your parents would care, and um, I think they'd forget. I'm pretty sure they're just as surprised as I am that I'm going to prom. Posing with Lucy is nice, but I'll be sure to be extra careful with my arms going in front of her there. Above the waist. <laughs> I love that he creeps in there. Man, I love how thick the outlines get with that. That's pretty neat. Seeing strobe lights finally end, and I can feel my early onset of blindness. These photos need a special album all of their own. Honey, we need another photo album. Ah, go find me sure to have fun at prom. Glance over and Lucy's dad catches me dead in the eyes. Home by midnight. I only manage to wake not as Lucy rushes me towards the door. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. Dude, you can why aren't you getting that fixed? Car glass can repair that for you. I love that apparently of all the car glass uh, jingles, the Dutch is like one of the few ones to actually do anything with it, and it works. And I'm like, yeah. I need some drinks, because my throat's starting to give out. I don't know why. I think it's just that these particular vocal performances are demanding a lot. The ride in the NASCAR is awkward and uneventful. Nasa didn't just ch chuck his jacket in the backseat as a divider, so Lucy and I can sit next to each other this time around. I heard that Spears might be giving a little musical number tonight. Nasser, stop spreading rumors from the junior class. Oh, so that was just a rumor? Damn. <sighs> what, do you want to hear him sing some opera? I'd certainly pay to see him try. Oh, God, no. He's got enough abuse for me during the school day. He won't be singing, though, Mike Ed Reed with the DJ tonight. His only condition was that he got the wear the mascot costume, which is a bit rather odd, but whatever. Everyone aside from Nasman voluntarily sighs. <laughs> what? Was it something I said? Ugh. <laughs> 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 Pulling into the school's parking lot by the gym, I take in the view. The students are strung up in various strings of lights along the overgrowth of the fans around school. 
Line to get in isn't too long, and it only takes a few minutes to get inside. Why is there a line at all? Oh, yeah, I guess flooding. The inside is decorated as well as the outside. Those nerdy little Chinese lanterns strung up from wall to wall. You literally are not allowed to read them in China. Oh, 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 they go with my dress. Wow, it's almost like the person who planned this entire event. The inside information on the decor color me surprised. I don't like what she did little hoops with her braids. It's so weird. Bumbling. Fuck. I think I'll hit up the catering first. What about you guys? I'll pass. I can't afford any fancy food. Why? What? 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 The price of the food is included in the tickets, man. How poor are you? I live in Skin Row, remember? To strictly raiding and on the part of the strats and breaking things, your rainbow goes nuts on them. You know, I've seen a lot of, a lot of tough and rumble criminals in my day, but that ra that Roomba, that phone Roomba scares me. <laughs> uh, sorry, forget to ask. The thought of being able to eat like an actual human for once was already pushed the Nazi apology out of my mind. Anyway, I'll go get food for both me and Lucy. Anything you want? Uh, just give me the closest thing they have to the barbecue. <sighs> nah, sir, if you're getting food too, could you get me a plate of kapamaki? Wrong country. Nasa slugs me on the shoulder. Ow! Looks like we're playing waiters for a bit. Seems that way. Well, you're dressed for it, unlike him. <laughs> Fang just gets pissed. He's like, ah, oh, I'm here with her now. No. Also, that pose doesn't necessarily look what that dress just. Oh my god, they just fucking mirrored it. They didn't do that for the other ones. I mean, it works. It's, it doesn't break the scene. But I follow him to the food table. I don't even recognize most of these dishes. Grab even played seven or eight different dishes for Lucy. I got a steak for myself, grabbing a few nice-looking sandwiches from the other end of the table. Wait, I have to get drinks, too. Fuck, my hands already full. You got everything? Don't got drinks. Ah, uh, we can always do a return trip. I guess. Hey, is this what Lucy would want? Honestly, man, you could probably get her to eat a rock if you told her it came from a cow. I see. Now I'll start heading back to where we left the other two. He suddenly stops halfway through and has to catch myself from dropping the plates. Now, something wrong? Now I'll suggest this forward. Oh no, they're fighting. Cat fight, cat fight. Everyone knows that it's not prom night without a cat fight. I got my money on someone. I just throw my money on the floor and like whoever wins, I win. No one, no one bets in that pool. I tell you that much. A one to one. Naomi is having to talk to Lucy, overwhelming her with questions. Lucy looks on edge, and I should probably intervene quick. Dress is very nice, Lucy, but we should go out together shopping clothes sometimes. I uh. Oh come on, you're in need of a few friends right now, right? Why don't we? You know, I know you talk to Trish, but why are you such a coward with me? You know, because Trisha's like way more assertive. Why the fuck am I a problem? Hey, we're back and we have food. Now we turn our attention to the plates Nasser and I are carrying. Oh, Nasser, did you get the sukiyaki? I guess I forgot. I'll go run and get it. That's fine. I was getting to be friends with Lucy and... Oh, shit. That's... <laughs> that's fucking terrible. Lucy pushes herself away from the table and strides away. Huh? Wow. Good on you, Anon, for just going after it. You should have brought the plates, though. Y you know, a bite to eat is a good way to reset your brain. Yeah, we're in mirror land again. <laughs> Pulling out the boomstick. I mean, her dad probably owns one. Lucy's retreated to the back corner of the gym. We really should have gotten a pick of this with, like, no one in the background or a thicker crowd or something. I just can't end on. Then don't. God, I'm gonna do it again. Everyone just wants to have a good time, and I'm ruining everything. It's all oh, she doesn't want to because she would ruin the mood. Ugh. How mature of you? Not healthy, but mature. Got a glimpse of Nasa and Naomi away at their seat, enjoying themselves. Got saw. I think Lucy saw the same thing because she snapped back to me and I wrapped her heads around my waist. You know, I no need to be upset. 
Not sure Naomi on my prom dates, just you. Yeah, it'd be fucking weird if you showed up with a polycule around here. I'm pretty sure everyone is monogamous. Do you know the monogamous also implies you're monosexual? What? I'm just filling in the details. <laughs> she breathes in, lets out a comforting sigh, I look around for any witnesses, and I'm feeling very smart. Again, like, the problem I have with the crosses is that as much as these characters, they don't feel religious. These characters mention Raptor Jesus in, like, the, 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 the insulting sense, the swearing sense, but never in this context that they are actually religious. It's like this motherfucker prays to Buddha to get him, to get him what he wants. I love drawing for any witnesses, feeling very smug. Uh, the suit does kind of stink. Confidence shattered. Are there to walk? The principal strides over to us, signing a few papers on the clipboard he has. <sighs> Lucy, there you are. That surprise you wanted is about ready. Surprise? You're know, the one who filled in the papers for what we didn't expect. Everything is ready for it. Here's the surprise you were giving an opera. I'm in a pretty tight schedule tonight. Wow, you're fucking date got kidnapped, loser. Spears leads us around the crowd to a temporary stay set up at the other end of the gym. God damn it, just stop it with the copying. Don't copy that floppy. You signed up or something? I don't think so. All right, go on in 10 minutes or so. Lucy freezes. On? Oh my god, look at Rosa. That's a cute dress. I think it's a bit fucking much. Like, a print like that is a bit much. They clearly spent too much time on those folds in the in the dress. Although you can easily do that with, like, a perspective pen and just draw the lines and then trace the lines backwards from the perspective dress and then scramble them up a little bit, and you can get a pretty good effect on that. Why is Stella looking so formal? <laughs> Holy shit. I like the astronomy style to the to just the flap, but... Why does Stella look like she's running a goddamn astronomy company? <laughs> I love how Trisha's standing here with the guitar, and I'm like, what? Surprise! Oh, no. Oh, no. Authority. Kill command given. <laughs> Rayma deployed. <laughs> Guts jumps on top, and they Voltron their way over. <laughs> Trish, Rosa, and Stella are carrying various instruments and equipment. Trish is visibly exhausted and stressed. I thought Rosa was on your side, Anon. No leave you to it. I'll get you. You'll get enough to read it over the DJ bit. How did he not know? Ugh. It's like my tonsils are getting a workout. What the hell is this? So, Fang. Fang, we gotta play a prom. We have all the instrument ready, and I brought your regular guitar to play. I don't mind. We can play whatever you want. What do you say? Okay. Listen, listen. under better circumstances, this I would love for this to work. I actually would really like if this scene would work out positively and had a nice, proper ending. But it's ending three, and if we know anything about ending three, is that I don't like ending three, and it doesn't do what I want. What do you say? Lucy is completely catatonic by this point and able to respond. I'm stuck on pistol. What? Oh, and I didn't see you there. You look less dirty out of the suit. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> hey, Fang, you came with Fang? Ah, oh, that's sweet. Reed's also coming. I don't know if a man should change out of the costume, but he'll play the drums. What do you say? Whose idea was this? It was a group effort. We're here to help, right? We have noticed that Lucy has been struggling all by herself. Wow. Wow. Back to the stairs, the trio snapped Lucy from the stupor. She flinches a bit, then bolts out of the backstage area. Rose and Stella look as though they've... They're only now thinking this was a bad idea. Listen, Anon... I, can, I, get, I, I put my arm around him, give him a little pat on the back. Normally... No. Here is some adrenaline and steroids. Suplex all of them. You have my, you have my best wishes. Pat, pat. Trish's smile melts from her face. Are you that desperate, fan Trish? Like, you're this desperate? Are you this clingy? Because I thought it was the other way around. <sighs> what were you thinking? Eh? No, please, tell me. Is Trish fine? She was fine, Trish. Now look what you've done. 
Trish tries to leave, but I manage to grab her shoulder. Where do you think you're going? I am going after her. Wait, I on. I like how she's fucking sparkly. <laughs> Damn it. Rosa pulls my arm free, letting Trish run after Lucy. Let them solve this. I am sure that Lucy's at the point where she can do this. She most definitely is not Rosa. This really puts someone off guard. Not a good time. Damn it. Why did you have to pull stuff like this today of all days? Couldn't you have tried this bullshit any other time? You know, when I first saw, like, the prom background and a couple of things, I was under the impression this was, like, outside somewhere for some reason. I was like, oh, they're having the prom, like, in an open area. Who are, to say, who are you to say I didn't? I've been talking to Lucy for a while and trying to get to make amends with Trish. She never told me. I drew the world in the sun. Past this night, she will achieve completion, fulfillment. It's a good thing, Anon. For someone who's technically correct most of the time, fuck you. Oh, for your sake, they were upright. Does it matter if they're upright? What do you mean? I flipped the cards after I got them back from the bathroom. Rosa, what did you do? Uh, I peeked. The world was upside down, so I fixed it. <laughs> Adam, go get Fang. No need to tell me that. I'll leave the incompetent bunch behind to look for Lucy. Wait, does that dress say something? It almost looks like it has a word to be spelled in there. Is it important, Stella? I thought it was just for play. Man, that's just rude. God damn it, we're not even in Mirrorland. Back in the in the gymnasium, I find Lucy huddled in the corner. Her arms are on her head as she tries to block out Trish. Trish, for her part, is only shouting even louder. Loud enough for me to hear as I make my way to my girlfriend. You never thought about me all this time? Seriously, say something! Trish, I can't even look at you anymore. You look ridiculous. <laughs> Why? Is it still what I said? I accept you and Anon. Seriously, you two are cute together or, or something? I didn't mean anything I said about you two. It isn't just that. It was everything else. The shit you did. Making me question tears of my life. What are you talking about, Finn? Come on. L let's play. This is this will be Vern Drama's biggest show today. I don't want to. Come on, let's go. No. Trash. My shout shocks the desperate Triceratops away from Lucy. I glower as she turns a sickeningly sweet... Oh man, she's manipulating top tier. Like, why is she so desperate about this? Why does Trish care? Like, I get it, right? They want She wants the band and everything. And they were friends, but... I think at this point, you would just kind of write it off as a lost cause. Like, the effort is a bit much. For what's on the table. Have a question. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty fucking neat. Hold on, hold on. Uh, th th there's something very important that just came up. Give me, give me a hot second. In the meantime, please think about zoot suits. They're pretty spiffy. Could make a comeback, maybe.
Fuck! My mic was muted. And um, if I did or said anything that hurt you, then I'm sorry. But please tell Fang I'm sorry too. This isn't right. Hey, I thought it's behind me. I already know it's the rest of the loser patrol without looking. Lucy, you have to give Trish one more chance. <clears throat> if you are not going to do it for her, then do it for me. Please, Lucy, you need to hear her out. Me, <clears throat> me and Reed miss us together, shooting the shit, playing the songs, making the fun of the Nasser, and... <laughs> no, fuck off. Lucy. Come on. Guys, you're overwhelming a back officer. Why do you care so much? <laughs> Trisha's friends, are you? Stay out of this. Rosa Stella, look around at the current situation. Once you realize what you're doing, please leave us alone and don't bother us for the rest of the night. Oh, I just noticed she's a little stickle plates in her tail. <laughs> Do shut up and sheepishly back away a few steps. What? You two are f you two are flicking on me as well? I'm thinking Anon is right here. We should not be intruding on the special night. Oh, yeah, my reading was wrong too. I can't believe you two. Ah, uh, they've been working her. Ooh, she's been working them. Thank, we are playing right now. I'm not asking again. I don't like that her collar with, with the thing is like uh, taut. It doesn't make any sense. She takes hold of Lucy's form and makes a move to take a backstage by force. Uh, Rosa, hey. Rosa blocked away long enough for me to grab her by the wrist. Trish glares at me with murderers and says, this is escalating. Try again another time. In the balls, Trish. In the balls! I guess that's it then. Spears is gonna get involved, isn't he? She backs off into the crowd. Lucy, are you alright? Yeah, I think I need to get away from the crowd. I wave off Stella and Lucy, <laughs> Stella and Rosa, and lead Lucy away into the hallway. find another corner near the bathrooms and the unpopulated side. Oh. We find another corner near the bathrooms, unpopulated aside from a few students passing by for smokes. Loose looks like an entire world has crumbled. You alright? Let me help you. Hang on, please. I just want to move past it. Okay, then. I don't want to see or talk to anyone, not even Rosa or Stella, just us. I want to see you. Only you. It's all right. We won't see anyone else anymore this night. Lucy's chuckle is choked back. She offers me a strange smile. Ah, oh, that's a cute pose, though. There. I did it again. I ruined everything for everyone again. How do I respond to that? None of this is your fault. She sighs. So, I, I pointed out that one of the first LPs I ever saw was some dude playing Katawa Sojo, and I was like, what the fuck is this video game? Where are the choices? Where's the video game? I'm kind of getting that vibe with some of these endings where it just goes on and on and on. And I'm not choosing anything. I need to go to the bathroom. It's okay. I'll go get some water while you're in. Won't take a minute. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Get her some of that food, man. I watch her into the restroom and re-enter the gym myself. I think there's lemonade and stuff by the food tables. Yeah, I was getting some water. Hey, you! Wrapped to Jesus on his cross of a rock. Give me strength. Well, they need a fucking rock to tie that man down. We're not dancing tonight, are we? Hey. Is Fang okay? No. Tell me about Fang. Are they happy? I'd say so. She and Nasa are on speaking terms. Did Fang say anything about me? Would they ever forgive me? Look, Trish, this shit ends now. If the two of you are in some sort of lesbian thing, then you probably should have proposed earlier. Probably would have had a relationship than mine anyway. She actually would have constant nightmares of you wanting to talk to her. Eh, maybe this could have been sorted out, but not today and not like this. You're doing more harm by staying here, though. I advise you stay clear of her for now. Trish is getting teary. I better shut up. Because at some point it'll just spill over into anger. Okay, it's, it's okay. Just tell Faye, Lucy. I want to see her happy again. I don't want to be a bother anymore. She'll never see or hear from me again. I told Spears to cancel the performance and going home. Wow, this is just feels fucking shit.
This just feels... I don't like this. It feels like the cancelable performance and everything, but Trish giving up on everything and just bloop. Their own personality is beating people the fuck up in the streets. Like, she would stop after she's physically stopped. Like, in a, in a fight. Not like, oh no, some stop me. She would try if there's a chance. And only stops when someone with either more power or authority or, you know, something. I don't know, it feels a little too early. For someone who's, who's been... Who's put a character in persistence. Unless, like, Reed has been talking to her. But, like, Reed she doesn't talk as much. She should. Maybe there'll be another chance sometime. I don't know. She left. Oh well. I got the drinks and returned to Lucy. What a fucking weird evening. Uh, she downs the whole glass in one shot. You good? Yeah, fuck. Splashing your face with waterworks wonders. I'm good to go. I look at the crowd gathering around the stage. Principal Spears moves the to the podium set, then taps on the microphone. Yeah, good to go. Speaking of, I uh, want to get some fresh air. I see a real smile from Lucy. Yeah, fresh air sounds good right about now. Hold my hand out, and Lucy links hands with it. Trumpet, trumpet, give me that sax. It's bright out here than in there. And I'm the sheriff. Walking out of that stuffy gymnasium with a cool evening air. I feel all the tension leave my body as Lucy's body presses close to mine. Cold? A little. I'm uh, not used to wearing these things. Also, this is like a really cool outfit for this late at night. Anna, what the hell's wrong with you? You're wearing a three-piece suit, Bingus. My hand leaves us. Before Lucy can balk, I wrap my arm around her. Shoulders. Go for the shoulders. It's time for the shoulder grab. How's this? I can one-up this. Right. Wings. The rings right about, about, wrap around the both of us as a feathered cloak of warmth. It's a magic item. You want me to call a taxi or something? That guy shows up all the time. Nah, we can walk home. It's a 15-minute walk to her neighborhood, which is filled with a comfortable silence most of the way. I guess Lucy is as glad as I am to put everything behind us tonight. Oh, we're here. Huh. Wasn't expecting this in an entry. As we round the corner past the we we'll stop. I let out an audible groan as my hand lands on a particular cart. That same hot dog vendor from before. And Who the fuck sells hot dogs this late? She notices us immediately and begins wildly. You've met her once. Does she know you? I shrug and shake my head as we continue to approach the vendor. This is very unromantic. Well, if it isn't my favorite skinny. I'm your Bracha lady friend. It's like 10 at night. You won't get many customers this late, right? No, I'm metaphysical. Don't worry about it. You knew her, ain't ya? What can I get you to a lovebird? Nothing says that I'd like some steaming hot franks. I think we're good. We're just on our way back and uh... Fang's face goes bright as he grabs her stomach. Uh, we left before we could eat, didn't we? Oops! Well, nobody misses prom food, right? Prom? Oh man, I was the party of the- I was the life of the party at the time. You kids got reef. Tell me you kids got reef city's dumb mascot. We shake our heads. What? Don't tell me at least spike that punch, right? Fucking Reef City. Oh, like they stole the mascot. More shaking. Seriously, do you tell me you egged the principal's car? No, we, uh, got into a fight. The vendor winces because just quickly puts on a smile. Oh, well, that's a bummer. You know, prom was where I discovered hot dogs. Went, what the fuck? How did you learn that? Could be yours too, you know. Right. I don't think it will be. Until someone writes a very smutty or funny thing about how we're hitting it up for some reason. It's just fucking weird, actually. <laughs> Don't mind the differences. What a weird night to suddenly change girlfriends. <laughs> uh, no. No. The proper ending is Lucy dumps him. Lucy goes for that fat hot dog. Look, man, we can just get some food. Our night's been a fucking wash. It's still young, though. It's 10 p.m. We have two hours before she got to be home. I'll listen to the sizzling meat as we wait. Look, kids, prom ain't that special if you ask me. What makes it special is on you. For me, I think back on the shit I can actually remember. Carf's the hell of a drug. She's read. I'm getting off topic. Point is, night's not over yet. She motions to the table. You don't eat hot dog at a table. Enjoy your dogs. Think about something to do with the rest of your night. If it's sex, I want to... No. 
Listen, I just say it's my pit. No. Should we call the cops on her? Probably. Make it something worth remembering. Like, I don't know. Maybe you can carve your name in a tree that's technically protected and you'll get a fine for it. <laughs> Somehow it's 1030 already. It took a long while to get that dog out. Loosen us out of the plastic folding bib with our artery clogging grease tools. They're at gills these time times, but I've never had one that wasn't just ketchup and mustard. Actually, I can't even tell what's on this. There's just too much junk dump on it. They're just plain chili cheese dogs. You know, Minnesota's hands on, so I figured. <laughs> Hold on. What is a chili cheese dog? Oh, fuck. That's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff for a hot dog. I want to try that. That looks nice. As I've said a thousand times, we'll say a thousand more. Give me that fat hot dog. Give me that fat hot dog. Been a hot minute for about since I had one, so I figured why not. Hmm. She made a good point. What should we do with the rest of our night? Lucy chews contemplatively. Not sure if she heard me or is giving it a silent review. <sighs> Whatever we do, I want to get out of this dress first. It's freezing. Dad would let us watch movies or something? You know, maybe. Now they have cop movies and hunting. Oh, they got Cabela's. I'm down for it. Dude, you have no idea how weird Cabela's gets. What are you talking about? You you shoot so many animals you are not licensed to kill. And there's like supernatural stuff in some of them? Like, it's really weird. That sounds like a good evening to me. After we finish, we wave goodbye to the vendor. I got the vendor still around by the time you're done. That's a fat hot dog you need for quick with Give me that fast hot dog. Give me that fat hot dog. Oddly enough, there's no cars in the driveway when you arrive. I like to imagine that NASA's getting busy. Busy breaking up. <laughs> you folks get groceries this late at night? They probably took the opportunity to go on the date themselves. Don't remember the last time they took this occasion, though. Maybe three years? Oh, that's just sad. Lucy kicks over a rock in the walkway. Why don't you just have the key with you, Lucy? Shouldn't you have a purse with a key in it? Your parents put it there instead of under the doormat? Nah, I put this here. They don't know about it. Got kicked out for the night one too many times, and you always find your way back. Just have a fucking key. Lucy stretches when we walk in. I mean, I'll be honest, like, Fang's design is such that stretching, probably pretty neat to look at, with the wings and everything. I'll go change back into normal clothes, so we can save on the art budget. Hang here for a while, right? I'll pick, pull out emotions I can't do in the other one. <laughs> it's not that hard to draw. Dr it's shut up, Anon. <laughs> it's harder than you think. I nearly sit in my normal place on the couch when I lose the armchair. Don't do it. Don't do it. The now vacant armchair. That's for Lucy's dad only. Oh, how it call? He'll know. You know that he smells that chair just for for shits like you. Phew, that's better. That's that's technically skimpier. Like, I guess your legs are, are emitting less heat, but that's still pretty dang skimpy for the weather. Also, Anon doesn't get to change this, is me. Anon. Lucy, what are you doing? Uh, Lucy, what are you doing up this late at night? You better not be listening to that racket again. Oh, my God. Anon, get out of there before you leave your scent. Scent, you can't be serious. Hey, is your head on the line? Nasser sat there once, and he ended up with a new scar. Well, so that's why this one on this other wing. Finally, suddenly, I found myself seated up in almost spot after all. Huh, I think they're actually out on a date. If that's the case, the house is for us, is ours, for at least an hour. Ah, oh, sweet! You gonna date your, your dad's liquor cabinet, then? He doesn't have one. Mom won't let him. Damn it! He really is whipped. So, movie night, then? Actually, I was thinking... Lucy took over the coffee table in the middle and we started pushing it aside. We're going to do aerobics? Yeah, let's do some aerobics. You know, loosen up a little bit. Why are you doing that? The living room is now open as she approaches... Ah, uh, we're doing a home prom. Lucy approaches an antique stereo in the corner. I was really full looking forward to dancing with you tonight, Anon. Double damn it, I thought I managed to get out of that. <laughs> but the look in Lucy's eyes... And off my head... Yes, I always wanted to try our mom's lights. The music playing from the stereo is positively ancient. Probably one of the parents' CDs. Who even uses CDs? What was that about lights? Lucy practically skips the light switch and dooms them. 
Then she flicks a hidden switch to cast them over the hazy violet blue. What? This is where the black light comes in? I saw this design and it feels... Oh, I just noticed the purple stuff has to That's pretty cool, though. My eyes are drawn to the glowing marks all across her. Wow. Did she prepare for this? Did she prepare for this? Like what you see? She turns back to me and the anticipation eyes make you feel more nervous. Shit, I just remembered. Just so you know, I can't dance. And I mean, I really can't dance. Like quadriplegic with downs. That's a very hard degree of not dancing. But yes, I've been waiting this since forever. Why do you glow like this? I need to know. Your hands class mind, Lucia doesn't seem bothered at all with how moist my palm is. Moved to the impromptu dance floor to manage to find an open space. Like, seriously, is this just natural? Because that's weird. Okay, like this. And if you prepare for this, that's somehow even worse. Because like one of them is obviously like one of your actual markings, like, but not the ones on top. Right hand on her hip, I think. Your right hand on her hip would go where her hand is in the, in the, in the pose, right? I try to take her right hand with my left, and Lucy shakes her head. Both the arms are wrapped loosely around my neck. Oh, she's going for that one. This body pressed against mine, the cartoons of a light frame fitting very well with mine. Oh, hey, there's an arm right there. Follow my lead, okay? Come on, give me some lessons. I nod stiffly. Lucy mutters a one-two kind before taking a left step back. My right foot follows and lands on her toes. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 don't worry. Just that slowly. Like, don't commit to the step, my man. Yeah, okay. Lucy repeats the step back. I step forward and manage somehow. Then she steps to the side and I try to follow. Our awkward steps continue like this. A couple of successful steps and then a ruin with a heavy step on the dainty toes. But slowly those fear of a lesson that's common. By the third song, Lucy and I are, are managing a basic... Like, seriously, is... The, like, did they explain the black light? By the third song, Lucy and I are managing a basic waltz. As the night goes on, the dance becomes unnatural. The light of the various strobes, I'm able to relish in a moment, being this close face to face. Whenever one of those lights passes directly through her eyes, they glow with a lust of cut ember. The diamond people suffer. Why? Oh, they, they're actually diamond shaped? This is weird. There's no one else in the room right now. Just us. You think it's going well? Hmm? A prom night. Didn't go as planned, but I like where it's taking us. I wouldn't rather be in a restaurant right Me neither. The last song slowly fades away, leaving us in uncomfortable silence in each other's arms. Under the black lights, I can fully take in Lucy's beauty. I feel humble that you consider this horrible night to have still have gone well. Lucy's eyes become littered as she leans in towards my face. Well, you've already kissed, so I'm... <sighs> like, once you've done the smooch in a PG-13 game, you've already gone, like, as far as you can go with this, right? Like, at that point, what are you gonna do? You, you got the ass claps, you got the chest grabs, you, you, there's a lot of things you can do, but you can't get away with it anymore. Because murdering someone violently is fine, Touching the booba is bad. You know, because society is fucking stupid. You, can, you, you, can do, you can't do whatever you want in, 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 the, in, in your own living room, but you can kill a man abroad. <sighs> like, that's the problem, right? Like, that's why the kiss is the, is the crescendo to a relationship, because that's all you can get away with. After that, it just gets awkward, and, and to be honest, to be honest, they'll be clumsy and weird, and I don't want to see it. <laughs> Kissing on the wedding night for all that's happened tonight, and still Lucy enjoyed it. Yeah, you're you're a Chad. We get it. Three. Phew. What a time skip. Eight months since I first joined Volcano High. August. It still feels like yesterday. The sun bears down on us, and an atmosphere's more water than air. Somehow I feel like I'm the only one feeling the heat right now. Jacket stays on. It's not Inko's jacket. That goddamn suede thing is just too warm. Nasa finally took the day off from her part time job at the Grow Club. So the three of us went to the park to do something a bit of a picnic. I will not make the delivery dance, and I'll stop making me do it. Stop asking me to do it. 
at least tell me how often ca customers ransom your tips for it. Too often. Now stop asking. Holy shit, he's been assaulted. Lucy tosses a fork full of chili cheese fries onto Nasa's shirt. He immediately jumps. <laughs> he immediately, he jumps immediately to his napkin to wipe it off. I forgot. Sh no. Relax. You're wearing another anyway. How and why? I still don't know. It's for conditioning. I can't stop my. Why? What are you? What are you? Even, what is your degree? <laughs> Naomi isn't even here, leering over you like any, like always. I'm dying here in just one check. How are you alive? Well, my skin is plate. I fork. Uh, I toss a fork. I toss over fork of fries and the other half of shit. Lucy offers a fist for me to bump while he recalls in the half-finished extra tips. I down the rest of my soda to keep alive and look down on my book. Soda does not hydrate. It dehydrates. No letting work could toss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't finish that thought. Give me. I finish my plate to him and rest my elbow on the pit. I shuffle my plate to him and rest my elbows on the table. With a familiar voice, chuck full of cheeky energy, alerts me to her and her food cart arrival. Why does she get so much fucking involvement? Well, if it isn't my high school favorite sweethearts. Haven't seen you two in quite a... Oh, three months is, is a while. How are you two doing? Uh, you have been after since graduation. Nothing that doesn't fit in a PG-13 game. Oh, you know, the usual. Dreading future as an adult trying to figure out what to do for a living. Stuff like that. Not getting $50 on a stream. Is that too? That's just the VA complaining on live recording. You know, like in Sonic 06, they're going to keep it in for some reason. The more you think about it, the more, the more you think about it, the more daunting it becomes. You just got to look at the expectations, see what life takes you. Lucy makes it sound worse than it is. We've been out of school for like three months. Only three months. Gosh, I could have sworn my time as fast as then. Now that's something I can hold agree with. The last few months have felt like yes to me in good and bad ways. So, you two have any plans? Not you both adults? Why? Lucy's word. The, the vendor's words, without realizing, it strike a very specific and sore chord with Lucy. She suddenly wraps her arms around herself and shuts her eyes. Before I can move to reassure her, the vendor notices the bearer of her words. What's wrong, Shug? Something I said. No, no, it's nothing. She lost her future, because we fucked up with Trish. What more? The street vendor gives Lucy a raised eye look. Now, nah, Shug, I can tell that someone's upset, and you are, right now, very upset. What's good to down all of a sudden? Lucy hesitates on hearing the words. She takes some second to think about something she'll say, before letting out a sigh. It's just things are changing so quickly, and it feels like I'm losing everything I've come to love recently. It's been three months. It's not recently anymore. Lucy shoots me a loving gaze while turning her attention to the street vendor. There's also the fact that I'll be so alone. You alone? What? My like a boyfriend standing right next to you right now? I do my best to try and hide the blush that's no doubt forming on my cheeks. He's... I mean... Lucy lets out another sigh. This one more on the frustrated side. I'm actually leaving. I'm actually leaving tomorrow? Oh, not bad. Didn't mean to... Joined the military. So in all the bad endings, military seems to be like the thing where he becomes homeless or whatever. Like, college is like the best ending one, which is interesting. I didn't want to bring this up here on the last late date Lucy and I could have. Yeah, he'll be gone, and I cut off contact with some people. Oh, you fell out with your old friends. Lucy gives the street vendor and sad nod. I like how the street vendor exists exclusively to be a straight man to explain everything that's happened, instead of Anon just giving us a nice short narration. I don't really have any plans for the future. They always seem to change, and I can never decide. This is the ending where Anon becomes a muscle. <laughs> The street vendor gives my girlfriend a soft and understanding look as she places down her tongue and walks around the food cart. She's standing, aside, standing side to side with Lucy. Like, are those flames on your skirt or is it just fucking greasy? You gotta tell me. Legally required. I lost contact with my high school friends who was stuck with thinking of anything she felt. From what I can see, you still got what's most important. She gestures to me and then to Nasa, who looks up from what remains of my leftovers like a deer caught in the headlights. I love those little splats. They're cute. Hey, get those from Bertha, right? She knows how to put sawdust in a fry to save money. Oh my god, she's talking about the hot dogs. You know, she puts sawdust in the fry to save money, right? Anyway, don't forget about your friends, any people you lost along the way. I know, come here, how about... Jesus Christ, why is she giving this lesson? 
Why are you telling Fang that, hey, you know, adulthood has many more times to make friends and family? Still have your youth. Oh, yeah, but that goes away over time, buddy. The street vendor turns a gaze back to me and gives me a smile. Yeah, the man's just... Yeah, man, she scared me this awful this year as well. Would I stop now? Oh, look at me getting all sentimental like I'm a grandma. I shouldn't be gushing on this. Your situation's probably more complex than I think. No, no, that helps. You're right. Lucy by now should have bought, like, replacement clothes or something, right? Oh, I never noticed there's a little fence there. <laughs> I have lots of people for me here. The street vendor seems satisfied with that answer. Don't get distracted by what the what-ifs, the should-haves, and the if-onlys. Only the things you choose for yourself are about... Only the things that you choose for yourself are the truth for your world. That's not a healthy mentality, lady. <laughs> Reality doesn't care about that. The street vendor gives Lucy a pat on the shoulder before returning to the helm of a food cart and she wheels around with surprising dexterity. Like that kind of mental denialism leads to people believing shit that's not real and then they vote on politicians based on that and it's not healthy. Money's wasted. That's how corruption works. Hey, if you have any similar on the or, or hot dogs are always available. That's a... What are they called nowadays? Ginomorph? Words have changed. Without another word, the street vendor walks away in search of another customer to get, leaving me and Lucy to absorb his safety advice. Recently learned of another way to describe sexuality is known as androphilia and gynophilia, with ambiphilia as the, the bisexual option. And it's like, listen, the penis and the vagoo are not the question. The question is, what do you like on the surface? You know, what do you see and what do you like? Because it, it, it makes the situation a lot less fucking weird. On some level. Just saying. Before either of us can fully process what just happened, Natsu walks up to us while wiping his hand and mouth with a napkin. So, you guys ready to go? I give Lucy a glance, she returns it somewhat somberly. Yeah. Natsu drives us back to my place in relative silence. He stands in front of my blocks and unlocks the doors. See you tomorrow, man. Yeah. Well, enjoy your last night together. Lewis and I step out of the car and he speeds away like normal. <laughs> I've already shipped everything important back home and donated the books. Oh man, this room is actually empty. Oh, that's terrifying. Even the TV is gone. All that remains the basic commodities the place came with. But with Lucy, it doesn't feel nearly as depressing as I thought I'd be. Yeah. Moving always has that sad moment where everything's empty. It feels like a skeleton picked clean. And I gotta say it, you know, you gotta say it. Give me that fat hot dog! Give me that fat hot dog! So, what is this even called? Because I don't. I I've looked at the stuff. Might actually be a CG under the endings. Oh no, it's empty rooms. That's pretty neat. And I'll make your bed. I don't make my bed, but make your bed. She must have heard this as she presses close to me, her head resting on my shoulder. How the hell did Trish get into Volcano Island? I can rent a movie on my phone for tonight. That's no, that's just terrible, man. That just sucks. Actually, I wanted to look back to the pictures. Oh, this is where those pictures come in. I saw these by accident. I was looking around. Anno means son of God or something. We had read Jesus all along as it out there knows. Ah. It turns out the raptor Jesus was the man we were playing all along. <laughs> Not the friends we made along the way. An odd response. Oh my God, it's the photo again. Yay. We'll curl up together on my bed and we'll see phone app booting up. The sum was spell spends, and Lucy and I got all over town. Oh, look at these cute pictures. <laughs> Woo. Charge your phone, Lucy, for fuck's sake. Would it kill you to charge that thing for once? We all documented a series of escapades from the local's farmer's market to a trip to a docked warship. Lucy and I shared frequent quips and anecdotes about our experiences. Eventually, the timeline goes back far enough if some familiar spaces start showing up. What the hell? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Because this isn't ending four where they made up, which is sad. Hold on, my phone just beeped. Man, 
I'll be honest, as much as I don't like where ending four ending three is gonna go, this is sad. Unwelcome familiar faces that get swiped by past fast. I like that picture of yeah, it was a as if I keep swiping past all the photos, I can see something in Lucy's eyes. I find it hard to describe. A miss of sorrow and longing. Something I can't put my finger. Because at some level, maybe Lucy and Fang were both people after all. And it was a decision moment. And both could have been valid answers or something. I don't fucking know. Like, I... Personally, I just don't feel that the answer of, like, you're born this way makes sense. Right? People change. People experience things. And they think differently of themselves and their world over time. Like, the inability to change... Like, I know one of the key reasons I can imagine that people like to cling to this idea is that it makes it harder to, to, to you know, because the, the, saying people can change validates conversion therapy. That's not good. But, like, Fang could be a person that exists, that Lucy could become over time, right? Like, you can see Fang becoming Lucy, and it's not like this massive thing where they become a junkie and die, but just Lucy becomes Fang, and they're happy. And that's just the way it goes. It's a matter of where you are and who you meet and why you're hanging out with them. That's why I think the term bromance is so silly. It's just the prequel to the actual... I was gonna read a fic today and forgot to. I'm stupid. Find it hard to describe. A mix of sorrow and longing and something I can't put my finger on. Lucy? Man's ejection snaps her out of her mood. She sits the phone down gently on an empty computer desk. Sorry, I... Her eyes linger on the cellular device. I have at least two other phones with... Jesus! I don't think I'll ever look through those now. Yeah, that that's a history. Maybe I'll do it when I... When I really feel like letting go is the best decision. Lucy casts her gaze around the barren room. I like that you have the little slope. Again, it implies that you live under the roof. It's not really fair to delete them, though. I could just forget about them. I'm good at forgetting things on the land. I take her hand and give it a re reassuring squeeze. But she sighs. Her exhaled breath seems to expel her mood. I look at the clock and nearly jump. We look at these pictures for a long time. Long enough that hunger once again finds us. I move to the kitchen and look through my mini fridge. There's not much left, just some green onions, a piece of beef, and uh, five eggs. Meanwhile, Lucy looks into my pantry and cupboards to find something else to cook. After a minute of search, it comes up two cups of pa Pachy Man ramen. Uh, just a week shy of their expiration is How the fuck do you get the expiration dates on ramen? I've discovered a new recipe. Oh my god, Final Fantasy 15 was 2016. Jesus. Holy cannoli. What the hell? Ba, 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 ba. What the hell? Life's coming at you fast, buddy. The meal prep doesn't take too long for two adults. It's the most filling of dinners, but it would... I mean, it's... it's You had, like, two steaks, right? Oh, some pieces of beef. It's a little for you. hates beef. Well, the green onions don't help. The ramen's alright. But it should hold us over nicely until morning. With our feast finished, there's nothing left to do now that all my stuff is packed and shipped off the rock bottom. So Lucy and I just turn to my bed. I don't think Lucy fits her either. Like, again, the art doesn't fit a Lucy. I close my eyes for a bit, trying to get lost in my girlfriend's warm embrace. It's hard to do, because I have a map with me. Suddenly, I feel a rib jab in my ribs. No, not the chest pokes. Lucy, what are you doing? My heart works without that, thank you. Just, uh, making sure you're real. Making sure of what? You know, that you're all healed up. Lucy, it's been five and a half months since the incident. I'm pretty sure I'm healed up at this point. The resiliency of youth. Lucy doesn't stop poking me. If anything, she's increasing the ferocity for pokes. Going for my chest, it's my stomach, my armpits. <laughs> Lucy, cut it out. Try to remain stoic, but I can't help but giggle as Lucy turns into a little tickle monster. I try the favor of poking her, starting with the stomach, gradually move up to her chest and armpits. I have a finger over her snoot, a mischievous grin spreads over my cheeks and my, my lips. I let out a giggle as a poke snoot. Boop! Out the window. No, that's the bad ending. You gotta get thrown out the window for that. That seems to do it. Lucy pulls me close to her, wrapping me tight in a warm hug. I return the embrace, tempted to resume my tickling assault. But far too comfortable in my Tiro girlfriend's embrace to care about anything else in the world. I laugh the lines down. 
It comes to my mind this might be the last time I get the hold of like this. I'm going to the army tomorrow. I'm gonna get shipped off to wrapped to Jesus knows where. There's a good chance I might not be coming back. Is there much war in your world, or is it just like someone is gonna fuck you up for no good reason? <laughs> Brings my situation into a somber light. I double my embrace on Lucy. The more primal part of my mind are willing to let go of her. It's, it's very dour. I raise her up and press her head against my head against her chest. A heartbeat greets me. It's soft yet fastened. It's desperately trying to calm off its calm and relaxed when it knows that a terrible future awaits. Heartbeat, I'm never here again. It almost breaks my own heart. Hey, if you get a heart disease, you can get out of the military. I feel Lucy's hands trace along my shoulder and across my neck to cut my face. Angelic hands ever so gently guide me into her and look into her eyes. She'll smile while I hear mischief. Before I realize what's going, her hands land on my nose. Boop. I had a guy who was very proficient in saying, Snoodle boops. My goodness, that man could deliver. The smile widens into a playful grin that I can't help but join. Such a beautiful sight to behold. How could I resist? I inch closer. <gasps> God damn it. You've ended three scenes on a smooch. All along, it's not a bad night at all. I woke up absolutely spent. I'm covered in feathers and Lucy's ambrosia scent hangs all over the bedsheets. What? Lucy's already awake and she's bathed before me. What what did you do? Did you squeeze her? Like a grape? For the for the juice? That's not how you get the juice, my man. You gotta get a professional industrial roller. Now she's rummaging through my fridge for whatever food we have left. Rather than waste time asking the obvious, I decided to hit the shower. I, I never realized that the, the little mini fridge is like off to the right in the entrance instead of off to the left. That's just what the fucking bathroom is, you idiot. Because the water strips away last night's sense off of me. You are so close, just fucking say it, man. I get to thinking how Lucy must be feeling right now. I imagine what tomorrow might be like. Not just for me, but also for Lucy. Now suddenly she's about to have a big chance thrust upon her in life. Big change. Little fall for so when this year. From the non-binary thing to the band to the betrayal to finally having a human boyfriend. Hmm, if only they haven't go so abruptly. I'm surprised she hasn't gone insane after all she's been doing. Don't, 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 listen. Malgam I hand on it has it way worse. <laughs> Don't worry. Man's gonna get his fucking shit kicked in. It's already starting, actually. I open the bathroom door and see Lucy sitting on my bed, staring blankly at her phone and swiping across messages. I have a tummy ache. Great. What's up? No, it's just it'll be in about an hour. No, yeah, it'll probably take 40 minutes. What if it could take 50 minutes? Why? I don't know, I'm just trying to make conversation. I'm just trying to make conversation, Fang. <clears throat> Ten bucks says he leaves another set of skid marks on the road outside. Sit on, sit next to her on the bed. Bow, ba, dow, bow. I wanna eat a fat hot dog. What are you checking? Bank accounts, old messages and photos. You know, it's weird. There's not much pictures of you in here. Come on, let's fix that. <laughs> also, this is where this goofy smile comes from. Lucy reads the phone and points the camera lens at me. Stop smiling, you look, you look terrible. Charge your phone. Alright, cool. I mean, under these circumstances, I can see why Fang gets all messed up towards the end. Because, like, uh, 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 this ain't great for your mental health. I said what? When did I say Wani? I didn't say anything. We go silent again for maybe a minute or two. The overbearing silence is broken when Lucy lets out a heavy sigh. Do you really have to go? I can't help but let out a heavy sigh of my own. Today, I'll get in the bus, and then it'll be Michael top hit movie for a few years. I honestly never thought these last few months were ever going to end. There's a heavy sigh between me and Lucy for a few seconds. It still feels wrong to me, you know. But I'm still too new at all this boyfriend stuff. I'll never get the hang of it. Oh, it's all the same guy. Excuse me. It also feels wrong to me, you know? I'm still too new with this boyfriend stuff, but I'll never get the hang of it. But if I only had a few more months of practice, then maybe I'd get better at it. Lucy lets out a short snort. I mean, you're not that bad at it most of the time anyway. I let out a single bitter chuckle. Hmm. I must have been the single most boring guy I've ever dated. 
Lucy lightly punches me on the shoulder. That's bullshit and you know it. If anything, I'm the boring one. Lucy deflates as he grabs her right arm. Yes, that is her right arm, thank you for mentioning. I mean, take over my spikes, rip bands, and stompers, and what do you have? Well, you still have some clothes left, I think. Also, your wristbands, like... <sighs> Such a detail that feels like someone should talk about. Wonderful girl, this thing that will change my life. Hmm? Goddamn mumbling. I, uh, never really thought about it. I suppose you try hard... Hard at being tough? It was endearing to me. At least when you weren't physically assaulting me. Listen, I've been thinking about something, by the way, for, for a while, right? Now, right, right. I've been thinking about, like, Amalgam High having the supernatural element to it, and I'm like, why? Like, I keep being like, I want this. But then I go back to it, and I'm like, this doesn't really do anything for the plot in a way that functionally matters. There's a lot of stuff that happens, sure, but, like, it does, like, it, the background logic ties things together. It's not like I'm doing it for nothing. It, it matters on some level. It's part of the reason Anon transfers, but, like, you could rewrite and keep a lot of the scenes and tear it out if you wanted to. There was something else, though. I know it while we were talking on the rooftop. I wish I knew what it was. Oh my god, they're setting up ending four so goddamn hard. Lucy cringed her hand moving to cover her face. Emotion warred across her face as she tried to form coherent words. I can't stop wondering what you saw in me back then. All this time I've been hanging out and still can't comprehend why you stuck around us. Me! I consider it for a moment, and the memory smashes its way to the forefront of my thoughts. And glancing at her for a moment, the expression on her face sort of reminds me of something. Probably left over embarrassment from the concert, but seems to have lost a look. That seems to have lost a look on her face. Maybe it was confusion. Maybe a mix of the two. Either way, there's something on her mind. I can't help but think that that must be how I looked on my first day. I think I felt you. Uh, Lucy stared at me pleadingly with those beautiful citrine eyes. For the longest time, I didn't really know who I was or what I wanted to be. I died in my grip on Lucy's hand and stared into her eyes. Lucy, whatever you want to do. Lucy, in response, glances away in what seems almost like shame. Almost instantly, I realize why. It was your idea. The two of us wanted so bad to avoid the subject that here I am dredging it up and twisting the medical fork and knife deeper into the wound. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring her up. Please don't think about Trish that way. She's not at fault, I'm just a fucking idiot. Lucy, I, I just forget that I have to walk around neck shells and around certain topics. Lucy puffs her cheeks and jabs me in the ribs. Ow! As he crosses her arms and lets out a single scoff. Like, I have to be careful when I catch him muttering, watching the newest. Hold the phone! Hold the phone! Hold the. <laughs> Man, if I, a, if I had a camera pointed at me, um. Yeah! That's, uh, an accusation. We're just gonna uh, not think about that. That's a fucking statement. Oh, that's what she's done. <laughs> so he's sitting there and he gets... Oh, uh, I won't go to war for at least a month until after I pass booze camp. Assuming I pass it, that is. What happens if you don't? Because that's kind of an assumption here. Lucy raises an eyebrow. Rock bottom, war of Vietnam, you know what I'm saying. I moved on, okay. Just like how you moved on from that non-binary liberal tri- She can still be liberal. She can still be liberal. That, that, that doesn't have to stop. You can keep it. You can keep it. She just can't ever go further left than that. She'll for every one of those weirdos that's playing the center and it's like, it's fine. It's fine. Don't think about it. Who said I did? Who said I did? Lucy unfolds her arms and puts her head in her hands. Can we just get to the money shot and wrap this up, baby? I get it. Something terrible is going to happen. This feels too rough for the scene. 
I didn't work out as a tough person, I didn't work out as a big musician, and I sure as hell didn't work out as a good bro girlfriend. Look at us. The whole thing with making everyone's lives around me hell, testing the waters with identifying my gender, was a complete disaster. You really can't compare the damage I did to myself to you jerking off to cart. <laughs> Why can't they just say that the two of you are smooching? A little more than smooching. In bed. If they're more than willing to go here. I mean, like, people... We're not going to have this conversation right now. Lucy's eye widen an aura. She face palms and falls back in bed. Yeah, she's probably having, like... I know that ending one ends with, with Trish being in a bad spot. I think what's happening is she's like, Oh, no, I'm doing the Trish thing, and I might scare you away. Fuck, I might have said too much. I would have ruined our last day together with stories when I was just a shit person. Yeah, she's reflecting on everything really negatively. There's no growth. There's just judgment, which is bad. Lucy's eyes start to shimmer. It's, it's fun to compare. I uh, still like you. I guess girls was having... <laughs> no. That's just such a dumb thing to say. Also, if girls have it easier, then toxic masculinity is a thing which requires the people who wrote this to think. We're not going to go there. Lucy picks herself up and gives me a narrow-minded stare. Because toxic masculinity is inherently the idea that men have it worse. So if you're going to say girls have it easier, then clearly the patriarchy is doing something that someone should think about and talk about and maybe address. And maybe think about the fact that men are told to be these cold-hearted, callous things that aren't allowed to do anything they want. I don't know. Just saying, you know. Maybe go back to being a liberal. Sounds good. You just like me. Her eyes droop. as do her shoulders. I'm uncertain if she's serious. But suddenly she tosses herself into my arms. Again. Again, this is the problem I have with the aquarium scene. It's just like the same thing. Over and over. I get it. Fucking... G give me the, give me the, ch give me, give me the stuff. Give me, give me the cheese for my, for my chili dog. I want that fat hot dog. Mm. What do you put p poutine on a hot dog? How bad of an idea is that? Puts a whole weight into the embrace, almost like she wants to tackle me. Which you should really only do after Nasser's announced it. Oh. The world really disappears when like this. Something I'm infinitely glad for. And um, do you like me better I was the way I was before? Or do you like me better for him? Honestly, I say go back. Like, hey, have some fun. Be who you want to be. Like, the new Fang is just such a wet towel. Scary Dave. You don't have to be girl on to get that fat dino hot dog. You can just buy one from Tracy right now. She doesn't use sawdust. Where's the sawdust to give it crunch? Oh. I say my next word without hesitation. You're much better now. Because as you are now, I have no risk that you'll leave me. No cutting weeds in my... That that has a lot more to do with being on ladders. Although I guess you miss your old life. Feel like I'll... I must feel like I killed you in comparison. I don't care about that. This is so much better. I don't like being forced to care about something I'm usually different towards. I pay attention to... to oh. Yeah, and you fucking don't. Lucky star, then fine, I'll stop. Can, can, can fucking Nasser show up and, and let's just have the save by the bell moment? already did this like I get it it's a different scene but it's a scene about saying goodbye so you say the I love you part at the goodbye not ugh. the timing feels off it's like they're double dipping don't double dip your dipping dots it doesn't work it just makes me go eh. thank you Yeah, it's been your home. It doesn't matter how small or crappy it is, at some point you love it. Like, there's a human part of you that sort of accepts things, you know? Where did all my viewers go, though? They're not here anymore.
Jesus fucking Christ, how much longer is this chapter? I mean, I know it's the original good ending, so it got all the meat, but fuck, this is a lot of beef. I've been thinking about writing a girl and on story. But I'm really married to Amalgam High, the concept of, like, having the whole fucking cast around. Because there's so much good in the cast if you take the best parts, you know? If you cherry-pick the best parts, you end up with a lot of good parts. Who knew? Who knew? Nasser isn't here, and that's why we end up standing by the apartment of the lobby with nothing but our thoughts. Pardon me, thank Nasser for his lateness. He gave Lucy and I more time together. Lucy's the first to speak up and break the silence between us. What am I going to do when you're gone? That is a good question, because, like, you should have been building to that, you dumbasses. You had, like, a whole summer to do it. You'll make it, Lucy. Also, you have your parents and stuff. They can probably help you. You're the only smart person I know. Now, Ray's pretty smart. I'm being serious here, Anna. So am I! You're capable of so much! Like music! Now, that's probably why ending 4 is the way it is. Because, like, th something to work towards. Thanks, but what about you? You barely survive the stairs. I can't help but roll my eyes at Lucy's words. Thanks for having so much faith in me. Something, um, I just thought about. So, fun fact. I have the other versions of Snook Gang. Patch 1, Patch 4, Patch 5, Patch 6, which is Tradcath Edition Win? 6 and 7. I don't have 2 and 3. That's fine. I'm kind of curious what, like, uh, Snoot Game V3 Valiant Velociraptor Victory Patch 1, like, what the original versions look like. Kind of curious. I might just look at my own time, though. I don't think that's good for TV. Subconsciously, I let it aside. I know you have plenty of fun getting back to your own life, especially since there's no semester in the fall to hold you back. Oh, well, the marsh pits will not be as <laughs> I could do without them. <laughs> yeah, like, there's options for you. We... Yeah, this is the moment I've been waiting for. This is this is the, the next scene that's been rattling in my brain. We might not see each other again. The possibility that, uh... I... I don't want to hold you back or make you waste your life waiting for me. Lucy got better, so I should too. But I'll never forget you, Lucy. Never. If I die bleeding out in some ditch somewhere, it'll be the last thing on my mind. I Like, what is the war he's going to? Because they keep implying that Anon's going to go somewhere that's going to get killed. Where? You can't just have Anon die. You have to have a war or something in the background somewhere that is alluded to on some level. I don't think we ever saw anything like that. And if we did, it's too subtle for what they're trying to do here. Like, hint at a war that's extremely deadly, so at least fuel something. I can't have your gulf war. Lucy stirs like she just got stabbed in the heart. Fuck, that hurts like hell. Not like that at all. You, you, I... <sighs> she struggles to find the words, and the beautiful face is marred by warring emotions. Lucy, it's okay. I take her hand gently in mine, which seems to settle her thoughts at least. I've also been thinking about, like, a Malcolm High future. Because it's a fun idea. Like, you take the whole gang and you put them in the future, and you have th the new kids of the old of the old guard. <clears throat> because the way it works, there's plenty of room for, like, adoption and stuff. I probably would kill off a bunch of characters who are old. Not Octave. He shouldn't die anytime soon for any reason. So he might even be still around as a main character. Affinia, probably. Like, if we're dealing with... If we're dealing with, like... Probably like a, a fast forward of like 10 to 50, no, 50 years minimum, 15 to 20. Ophinia would be like in her f late 40s, but she doesn't she doesn't age because you know she and Octave are numancers and they're morphic enough that they probably wouldn't ever experience proper aging because she's already not what she was born as. Although she did grow up, so maybe she does age just in her own way. Uh, Giggler might not age. Giggler might still be around, if only... No, Giggler would probably want to move up in the world. After everything that happens at Kadira High, she'd probably be like, Yeah, well, I'm gonna make my fucking career somewhere else. Spears would have moved on by then. He might even be the principal of the next school. Oh, in that particular concept. Let me actually look at the, the character list. Who would be where? Is a great question. 
uh, Nasser, I always imagine, would go into politics. 10 to 15, 15 to 20 years later, he would definitely be an active politician somewhere. Uh, Liz would have opened a cup business. Although, Liz, Trish, and Mia are right now considered, like, Anon Endgame? Maybe? I can also see Anon just being alone and being like, yeah, this is fine. Lee? I have something in mind for... Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, what's his name? I keep forgetting his name. Damien. Damien. Uh, Olivia, I don't know where Olivia's gonna be. Olivia has some weird stuff going on. I think Damien... What I had in mind for Damien... Is that his hybrid stuff, like... What is it again? Like, 25% of all hybrids have, like, degenerative diseases? So he's on, on gene therapy. And, the, and I already wrote, like, a little thing. Like, I'm on retros. Just to already introduce the concept of, like, yeah, he's rapidly deteriorating, but they can keep alive a little longer. I thought about hitching him up with Liz, but then I'm like, he, I like the idea that he sees Liz as a sister. It's like, no, I don't... Like, when I got her out of the Lunera situation, that wasn't me wanting to hit on her. <laughs> Solly might have moved on. He's probably too old at that point to do PE effectively, as with the other coach. Because 15 to 20 years is a fucking long time. That's like four to five terms of the government. Like, the big government. Trent is probably dead. Although I think they would probably have a cure for his disease in this world. So he'd probably be fine. Actually, Caduceus could probably keep him alive indefinitely. No, no. Caduceus can't cure cancer, I think. Maybe if they figure out an alternative, but the ability is regenerative, which is what cancer is. So, if anything, they cause cancer. I already also already had it in mind that Mia doesn't age, and she's pissed off because she looks like a teenager <laughs> the whole way through. It's like, God damn it, I technically am an adult, but no one's gonna take me seriously. Because <laughs> I can't move on. Because one of Mia's things is that she constantly, perfectly regenerates. And it means that she can't grow <laughs> beyond that point. Oh, uh, she'll love it. Slap on the back, haha. <laughs> Nautilus would have probably lost her father, would have inherited the shop. I can imagine her just staying there, because, you know, living right near the school with the biggest amount of weird occult bullshit happening is, like, the perfect place to live as an occultist. <sniffs> Mr. Bones, unless he dies in the story, he'll be around. Winnie would still be around, because Winnie doesn't, doesn't, like, Winnie doesn't age, like Octave doesn't. Trico, he might move out. He might have moved out at that point. Mr. Opanis is probably dead. He's already old at, at the time the story starts. Uh, I can see Trico still being around. But I can also see him being the guy that opens the, the ziggurat school. Because what Drek Trigo can do, he would probably be in a centralized, important location. Like, he wouldn't just be nowhere. Scalar. Scalar would be old by that point. Might have actually become the proper principal. This is Roberts' is dead. I already mentioned that, I think. Like, everyone would have moved on. <sighs> but I kind of want to bring the, the cast back and give them kids and have some of the old people. Because it's just cute, you know? It's cute. It's cute. It makes me happy. At, at last, Lucy lets out a soft sigh. When I laid on, when I laid on you all that bullshit, when you opened up on my on that roof, my baggage, you thought the worst of me, didn't you? Well, the question on weird shit I must have done back then have resulted in me. I thought I could be the better man and not judge you. It was still you, though. The one I can be careful. all in the past, then. The painful tone of voice makes my heart ache. Lucy, you're still you. She looks really conflicted on the inside, like she's holding back something. And on, I... Please, no. It doesn't matter now, right? I hate what I did so much, and I'm willing to pretend that absolutely none of that happened. I... The voice cuts off, she's chewing on her bottom lip. She can do that! She's afraid of her memories will be painful, but for me... Yeah, you're gonna fucking die, man. The whole discovering myself quest that led me to talking and hanging around people like Trish. Now, where did that start? Like, I, I got the impression that Trish started it, but, like, this implies you started, you moved towards Trish. Her voice is a hiss as if she's spitting a venom with these words. Gender, pronoun, shit. No one high school sucked. No one ever wanted to come near me and, near me and stick around to see where it went. Th that wasn't the gender pronoun shit. That was you being a fucking asshole. Don't confuse the two. I wish you sh Yeah, you were an asshole. Listen. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you something I learned from D&D, &D, right? Let me, let me tell you the ancient, there are no problem players. There is exactly one type of problem player, and it's an asshole. Power gamers, cheaters, all that fun, they're just assholes. If you put them into little brackets, sure, you can find some cute details and, and, and overlapping things, but the end game is, they don't respect you, and they're a fucking asshole. You're an asshole, Lucy. That's the story. You can say, well, I was being shitty to people who didn't get it, but... 
you could have just not done that and tried to like form bridges and then get weird about it, you know? Invert the order of operations you had in your head? I don't know. That was so shitty to everyone that didn't get it. And the people begged me to be like them didn't care about me either. What, what does that even mean? Like, I don't know what to tell you, but like straight people don't walk up to trans people or, or gay people and go, please be straight and, and, and insist. No, that's not how that works. That's, that's not what they do. Conversion camps suck. She growls. Tears threaten to fall from her eyes. Oh, that's always a competition. So you have the worst baggage. And I always laugh because I never had that bad... Yeah, you do live in a fancy house. And you've made up all your problems. You're just a fucking twat. This is everything I didn't want out of Ending 3. Fuck, it is such a right guy rant who doesn't get it. This legitimately doesn't actually understand what the problem is. There's a problem. This ain't it. So I'm not gonna humor it. Y y y oh, didn't you? But you did it. You were still an asshole. If you didn't want it. <laughs> Fuck off. Like, all the other endings don't touch on this. They're not that harsh on this. This ending doing it anyway just feels wrong. And I guess the point is that Fang has no Fang points to realize that that's not the problem. But fuck you, you know? Jump off a cliff. It'll do you some good. You know, like Nasser. Did him a lot of good, dude, didn't it? Made him a track star, apparently. You can let it all out. Well, there goes that shirt. I mean, he's gonna lose it anyway in the war. I mean, like, this isn't detransitioning. This is just, this is just being an old person and regretting your your past self. You know, there's a difference, and I don't like it. No, <sighs> Fang, please, please, get your Fang points, please. You can change while I'm gone. You know. That's one thing I don't like about stories like this, is that because, like, <sighs> these characters change in six months, and then for four years nothing changes? What? Now that's just rude. Thing. Like, what you're doing, Fang, is you're projecting everything you did wrong onto a character trait that is externalized from yourself. Instead of admitting that you were a bad person and made the wrong decisions and were rude and inconsiderate to people and that you shouldn't have been like that and should have prioritized, you know, being friendly and accepting and willing to communicate, you know, the stuff those people talk about, and projecting into being non-binary inherently made me worse. That's why people complain about this, I see, because that's the wrong message. What you are literally saying is that the problem isn't that you are a bad person, it's that you're Christian. It doesn't work like that. You can't make it like that. I guess it increases your odds and it gives you certain excuses, but it doesn't work like that. Yes. But that's unrelated. That's underneath. Get your fang points. Please. It, like, my big problem is, like, you can have this theory, right? You can have... But it's so on the nose just complaining about it. Instead of kind of trying to touch upon it. It's it's uninterested in what it's actually trying to say, what it's talking about. And I don't like that because it makes it insincere. It makes Fang sound like a little bitch. Something came up, and it's important. I love, you know what I really love about, about, about the fucking archive or owners? Like when you click on a comment, it's like, this comment is on chapter four, and you click on, okay, I'll click on the thing that, that links to my thing. It doesn't link to the chapter, it links to the first one. So every single time I do that, I'm like, oh, I'm not in the right chapter.
Huh. I love it when I write stuff and it's unintentional. Someone's like, hey, that's really clever. Hey, then, I guess that's true. Sadly, not Ferris's full name. Aww. Before I can say anything else to my girlfriend, I have a sigh. Familiar gray tone. Why, why did he buy a car in his skin color? Why are you like that? Oh, it's the money. Yeah, you, you probably don't need cash in the military. I'm pretty sure they take care of most stuff and you, you spend your money on, like, weird shit. In your own little script currency. Why is everyone going to Tracy's? Why is Tracy so fundamental to ending three? Hot dogs are perfect meals for those snoots. <sighs> again, again, it feels so drawn out. <laughs> like, I know that I write very purply prose, but... My purpley prose is usually purpley because it talks about feelings and emotions and situations and circumstances and shit. See you later, Skin Row. And only in ending two do we get to see you again. Oh my god, I remember the scene. I hope it's not long, though, because I barely remember it. Jesus Christ, though. Listen, Anon. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be gone for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, rifleman or infantry or whatever it's called? Huh? What are they gonna make you? Like, ditch digging ditches? Not to come over or anything. I shake my head. At least he was starting to catch his poor wood. No. Ditch digger. Yeah, I'll be doing that too. Uh, but they'll. But they had me take an ASVAB test. They made me do. Wanted to make me do some more mechanical stuff. Now your odds of dying are less, Anon. Don't be so worried. You'll probably die a little bit. A little bit. What's an ASVAB test? Let's see. It is the Armed Services Vocabulary Aptitude Battery. Why is it called a battery? Because they beat the crap out of you? Because battery is like the term used for actually... Everyone says, oh, that's assault. No, assault is when you do it. Uh, assault is when you imply to do it. Uh, battery is when you do it. And on should be... Tanks suck. Like, American tanks have gotten better over the years, but like, old-fashioned tanks were awful. Yeah! Like, being in a tank was the worst. The reason Sherman did as well is because you survived being in it. But those, those T's from the Russians... Yeah! Terrible. You would die. And it was miserable. I mean, yeah, I'll be doing that, too, because the, the engines are huge. Everything is built... Oh, Jesus Christ. But they made me do an ASVAB test, and they want me to do something more mechanical. I think the code was 19K? 12K? What does that mean? Hold on. Hold, hold the phone. Phone held. Plumber. <laughs> Apparently, that's plumber. 19 is M1 Armor Crewman. Damn! So Anon is either the guy who fixes the toilet... Or is this in a tank? <laughs> what a disparity. They're pushing me into being a tank. Ah, there we go. Can you even drive, dude? Th there are like... S listen. One guy drives the tank. One guy does spotting. There's probably a guy who does mapping duties. Who's probably the spotter. There's, I think, a machine gunner. There's the turret guy. And then there's the guy who reloads it, right? Like, there's a whole bunch of shit in a the tank. There's also an engine guy. There's a lot. Tanks are not easy. They're very impressive. Anyway, I decided something more my alley. Kind of like shit post, more official, I think. I love how just nothing... What's shitpost? Never mind! The number thing is 4-6-R! Hold on. I imagine that Google's very confused about what's going on here. Broadcast journalist? Public Affairs Mass Communications Specialist. These are the numbers I'm getting. Yeah, that is kind of like shitposting, I guess. Oh, he heard that. Now it's a nods his head and looks off. What a weird conversation. I've been meaning to say for a while. 
Pat pat paps. <laughs> Kudos. Yeah, I got the pat pats. Yeah. I didn't even know that. I was just making shit up. <laughs> nah. I've I've heard some people talk about tanks and stuff. So I have a vague idea what you need in the tank. Just just a vague one. But again, like that shit sucks. Although I've seen modern tanks, like really modern tanks, have like little screens and shit, and it's kind of cool. Although even if you have a little screen, you always want to have a little window, because you know, if your screen, if your camera gets shot, you want to have a little window. Although that's what reactive armor is for, right? Man, they got some weird shit in tanks nowadays. Thanks, I don't mean it. I didn't know what I was doing for a while. You didn't take the hit. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I, I guess he also helped Nasser in a way. Honestly, I'd still be that scared little kid stressing out or being something I didn't need to be. What are you talking about, Nasser? Your big change is with your sister. It, is, it changes nothing about what you're doing as a career. Hang on. Let's actually look it up. What are, what are tank crew positions? How many crew are in a tank? A tank is usually operated by four soldiers. How cool. What is the crew of a tank? Tank commander, a.k.a. the big man. The gunner, a.k.a. the guy who shoots the bigger gun. The loader, the guy who puts the ammo back in the gun so the gun can shoot again. And the driver man. The tank commander is the guy in charge. He's the man who says, you do that thing, and you do that thing. And everyone says, yes, sir. I wonder who has the wrench. <laughs> who bangs the engine until it works again. I say that, but fuck, tank engines are huge and just so complicated. What the hell, man? What are they called again? Rotaries or something? Gas turbines? I come look. <sighs> Hello, Mr. FBI man who's investigating me. Thank you. A gas turbine engine. And they are so goddamn massive. And they are so weird. But you need one if you want to move a goddamn tank. Those things are heavy. I mean, they're made out of metal. What do you want? <laughs> Let's see. The Abrahams has an uh, Avco Leoming AGT 1500. 1500 is how many men you need just to lift one up. All you need is one well shot. Yeah, that's the thing about tanks. Sure, they're tough, but if anything gets in there, there's fire, there's smoke, there's there's panic, there's heat. You're, you're going to feel it, and you're going to be like, where's the exit? And your tank commander's going to be like, hold oh, down! Well, why can I get, get one shot in that guy? And it's like, no, the gunner just got his leg shot off. And the gunner's like, I can shoot. I can do it. Because the gunner wants his revenge. He, he, his legs, legs will be avenged. Lucy had to come back at some point. Kind of happy she kept quiet to give me a nice or a moment. It's what a, what a bittersweet moment ruined by the fact that Lucy's just fucking full of shit. Knee sitting chair. All this time we avoided saying goodbye to each other, but eventually it has to happen. This ending is so goddamn drawn out with nothing happening. Lucy, hang on. Horrifying tugging pain hits me in the chest. It's a heart attack. You'll be fine when I'm gone, right? Yeah. I seriously have no idea what's gonna happen to her. I reprimand any thought that something bad might happen to her. This is gonna be like Bastion where you send your money back but someone took it. And your mom's dead? I always thought that was super sad about Bastion. Like in Bastion, um The protagonist. I think the kid. Uh is is, is his name. He goes out to the wall and he does like a, a very nasty service because the wall sucks. And he sends his money back to mom, and then he comes home, and mom isn't there, and the money isn't there, and it's clearly implied that either someone stole the money and killed his mom, or his mom was dead, and someone else took the money and it in her place. Like, it's, it's not good. It's terrifying. Terrible. It's just a low-key comment, and it's very well done. Unlike this ending, which can eat a dick. It knows a bunch of military stuff, but it doesn't fucking matter. Still. Can you promise me that if I do see you again, you'll be a better person? What they gotta do like is that future Anon and Malcolm Highwall will certainly become like a history curator slash involved with like the Octavian school system. One, Octave wants to groom him into being like a successor. And two, I like that I gave him a history buff. A little history noggin. Just works. God damn it. Stop it, phone. Mm. If I do see you again, would you be a better person? That's both. Better persons. I'll be a better person. But you have to promise me something, too. That you'll come back. I mutter. Okay. She mutters. Okay, good. It's settled, then. I'm not going to die. Oh. But you put some... I mean, like, again... 
there's enough in context to imply that this is this is like the worst way to say goodbye. Why was a bus driver waiting on you at all? That's not where the bus is. All right, I was going to the master. Ooh, add on money. Oh, those are slats. It's just really weirdly set up. Damn, dude. Damn. Let's all laugh at an industry that never learns anything. He, he, he. Vanish from each other's lives. Let's read this one, because I think this is kind of kind of good stuff. I got inside and waved back at them. I gave the driver my good guards and laid back, looking at my feet. I must have thought about a lot of other things then. Like what would have happened if I just jumped out the window and ran to her. Or if I would die and never see her again, like in that Goon Snoop vi music video. I looked back to see if I could get a glimpse of her. My eyes frantically searched the small figures, and there she was. Caught her mid-motion, crying on Nasha's shoulders. And then the bus rounds the corner, and they're gone. Love the tail edit. Vanished from each other's lives. Huh. I was dropped at a hotel with other dudes, surprisingly diverse crowds of humans and di- How did- I mean, humans probably because they're more poor around here, dinosaurs because, you know, they live here. Waited for another bus that took us to the airport. Wow, a lot of backgrounds. I think I might have slept as soon as I sat in the airplane seat because I don't remember the takeoff or the drill. I was unfortunate not to get fortunate enough to get a seat by the window. I flipped it up and saw a desert with a two-lane road cutting through. I don't know where I am now. I think I'm nowhere near Lucy. Hope to God I see her again. Three years later. It's four years later. Three years later. Six years later. Pick a date. Pick a date. Bocadero Bluffs, new duty station, recruiting teens to suffer just like I did. Good times, good times. With my rucksack on my back and a cheap rolling case on my side, I'll make my way down to my old stomp and grab some cheap living. Three years later, I wonder if Lucy still lives there. There's new buildings in the Galleria, not to mention it's gotten more, even more labyrinth. Sun reflecting off the mirror polished windows are baking me alive in my JDUs. This is a JDU. Hold on, I'm learning many terms. The Journal of Data Urbanism? That's not gonna help. Take it back, I think there's a park nearby that has a decent vending machine. Mentally retracing my stats from senior year, I managed to find the park. <laughs> Look at this place! I love how the edits are terrible. Well, it looks like they're holding some kind of festival with all kinds of booths set up and Tyranno tykes running around. It's an occupied picnic bench and a racket fleet. So I sent my heavy bags, carrying my entire life down, and pop up with my water bottle. Damn, him big. I love that it looks like he doesn't end in court. Sitting here, I can't help but reminisce over the last time I was here. Awful lot is There's an awful lot of left behind. Like my high school sweetheart. Well, you know, you move on and you forget about him. The dicks in my old platoon never did believe me. Then again, I didn't want to show that photo album my mother gave to gift to me. Wrapped with Jesus on his own. I wonder if she remembers that promise. And on? Hmm? I look up to see a pterodactyl in a floor print dress running to full tilt towards me. Oh no, Rosa got to her. And on you remembered. Why is the music so dire? That's not a floor print dress either. Also, the way that that folds implies that she's not wearing a, a dress, but something that more resembles a pants. What do I know? What? Stand up and prepare to take her down. I'm poorly prepared, however. <laughs> Love those balloons, though. <laughs> she lines up me. Before I think to grab my cheap ass kebab. She lunges at me, and before I think to grab my cheap ass kebab, her beak mashes roughly against my lips. What? Go 
Thus, my instincts as my hands are flexible, my armors attack about the hips. Wait. I pull back. Both for and to figure out who this is. If this is who I think it is, and not some well dressed, sexually harassing lady. <laughs> That's awfully specific. Do you see? I mean, I like that dress. It's pretty nice. How did you get taller? You remembered her promise. How the hell are your hips at her height? If you're this much taller, buddy. Someone's got the lanky legs. Right, right. Also, her eyes look a bit weird. They look more red. I like the, ri the red ribbon, though. It's a nice combination. Yeah, promise. Then I'd come back and be with you. How could I forget? I finally have a chance to take Lucy in. Gone as the halter top, torn jeans, and spiky hornband. Like three years, man. She got new clothes. In that place, a simple golden sundress with a large red ribbon tied about a head crest, looking for the world like a pair of red bunny ears. L let's be clear. Design? Yes. Fang? No. Nah, digging the, the personality, because I know what we're dealing with. My hands remain on my shoulders, and I can see that she's checking me out. I'm proud to say I'm no longer a lanklet. Especially now my uniform blouse rules. <laughs> Jesus. Get your blood flow back, people. People grow in height the buffer they are. Nice. You really changed since the last time I saw you, Emma. I'm glad to see you're safe after all these years. I'm so worried about you. What if something happened overseas? What if you got lost? Why didn't you just keep contact? That's possible, right? What if you never returned at all? I have more faith in me. I still got all my limbs right. I didn't get bruised too bad. Uh, like, remember the time I fell down the stairs? I'm pretty indestructible, yeah? Maybe I'll wait before showing her my scars. Ah, you're pretty amazing. What have you been up to? Oh, my associates, and then... Miss Lucy! Fang shrugs. And then this. The little T-Rex runs up to the table. Miss Lucy, Miss Lucy! And now... Vinny? Vinny? What's wrong? I was playing with Jared, and he said that he said that earthquake happened when my mommy gets out of bed. Tell him it's not true. Tell him that his mom has a secret dad. No. And on. Tell him that his mom has a secret dad of you that she doesn't tell anyone about. And on. Okay. Yeah, you know, like from from her perspective, I guess it's three years. Like she's known him for like six months, right? So the period he's uh, eight months. Let's just be generous and say a year. So. Eh, like, she knew Trish for longer. Like, I don't... There's something here that feels like it's a little too convenient. No, you don't. Jared, get over here. After cleaning up the scrap, the sk squabble, Lucy slumps at the picnic table again. You want me to get you a water bottle or something? No, thanks. I had a lemonade already. Uh, the fair is some annual town hunting celebration. This year, the people charge an extra football. Today, they're letting the local schools have the field trivia for your charge. You need another chaperone? I'd love to, but the parents usually get upset about this sort of thing. You have to be qualified or certified to look after these guys. I need no joy, more than license, yeah. I pray a bunkers, eh? I chuckle at my own silly accent. Lucy's giggles echo my mouth. Lucy's giggles smelt away in the trickling tail of eye. You really back? Oh. Her arms wrap around you tightly. It's afraid to disappear at any moment. Hands rub comforting circles around her back. My, oh, his hand. <laughs> I'm getting so mixed up. Yeah, I'm back, Lucy. I'm surprised you waited for me here. Of course, that promise win means the world to me, Anon. Because I have nothing else in my goddamn life. What do you expect? We stay in a in the hot sun just for a moment long before I let go again. Get in the shade, man. You're gonna burn your head. Lucy's gaze lingers on the children, their eyes knit together in contemplation. Look at them, Anon. She points towards the skids, screaming and scrambling over each other. We were all like this at some point. Stupid? No, I mean innocent, careless. Suppose we were. She lets out a sigh. One day they're gonna start thinking doing all the wrong things we thought and did when we were teenagers. I wish I could stop it from happening. I'm just perfect like this. It's a good dress for the weather, too. Unlike Anon, who's dressed in relatively dark colors. Is that a holster? Dude, don't walk around with a fucking holster. Kids can be uh, mean to each other. They're not cruel. The world makes them cruel. And then they are free. We've got to protect their freedom. Save them from our mistakes. That's quite a statement to hear from her, considering that you are literally... Oh, never mind. You've changed. I think now would be a good time for a segue. I think you're doing good. How's everybody else? 
Anybody else? You know, NASA, Trish, Naomi, Reed, all those guys. Well, NASA went to medical school, which is a really weird school for a male now I think about it. Especially since Naomi's the one who goes there in uh, the Good Vava Gun High. Or implied to. They close their eyes, though, trying to recall a lost memory. I haven't seen Naomi, though. And the others? I haven't seen them since either. Really? But here you are now. And Matt, you're back. I'm never letting you go again. I'm not going anywhere, sweet tooth. Lucy rolls her eyes. You know, if she just said that back then, I would have hit you. And I would have done it just again because you're cute when you're annoyed. I guess we both changed since then. Really? Yeah, how so? I mean, when I first enrolled, every intention was just laying low and not sticking out. I didn't care about making friends as long as I suited that goal. As long as I didn't get bullied anymore, I'm glad to just blend in. I guess that plan fell apart. It did, yeah. I kind of blame you for that development. Ah, uh, made you care about people. You sure did. A few kids change each other around the table. You got any breaks break down today? I'd love to check out the time. See what else is different. Uh, I'd love to go. I'll go ask. I might get a few minutes to step away. We'll go check out Volcano High again for old time's sake. She freezes for a second. I'd rather not go to Volcano High. Too many pet memories. Slide. Actually, I'm going to pull up her art because I'm kind of curious what her... You know, what footwear she's wearing, because, you know. Is she doing the smart thing with sandals? You gotta wear the sandals. It's probably one of the future sets. Uh, nope, but she is wearing very low shoes. A lot of exposed. Nice and breezy. I mean, why would you be wearing boots with that? That's a terrible combo. You gotta really know what to pull that off. Lucy and the rest of the else from the supervisor was surprised by how understanding they were once they saw me. I mean, you're kind of speaking for yourself. He said I deserve it after a hard day's work. I look exhausted after dealing with those ants combiners. Not at all. Shrook told everyone I love doing what I do. You know, this isn't as I remember it. The ending with, with, with Fang felt bad, but this feels fine so far. A bit weird for Fang, but it feels entirely in line with what we get in ending 4. Catching up with Lucy is the happiest I felt. Oh, this is cute. But look at how goddamn massive this man is. Look at him. Memories came rushing back when we walked under the hot sun. You, so you don't know at all how Reed and Trisha did it. Oh, the last time we spoke with them. I hope Trisha's all right. The two of you were friends for the longest time. I guess I didn't feel the need to see him again. Looking back, they were terribly influenced. I guess so. Still on Rosa? I haven't seen him much either. Seems weird, considering Rosa was such a help to us. Don't get me wrong, Anon. I love Rosa for what she did. And as for you and me, and I didn't need to see her anymore. I didn't need to see anyone else for that matter. You must have had friends in the army back at rock bottom even before that, right? They've gone from your life too and there's nothing wrong with that. Haven't you looked for them? I like that Anon is like actually like, hey, uh, there's something wrong here? Hello? I don't want to. The scenery feels familiar. Oh, does my old path to school? Maybe I'll get to see it after all. Let's turn away to Moses somewhere else. I want to see the school later. No, Anon. You're traumatized. Seems like we'll just repeat each other. I get upset over nothing and I apologize. Sorry. Sorry, I just... I don't want to remember Volcano High. I just... Too much dumb stuff there, okay? I just want to forget, like, all oh, that happened. Oh, it's fine, too. I do want to see all that fossil to do. Actually, Mo retired. He sold his franchise. Oh, we can still go check it out. No, just no free pizza. Why are we doing all this? Took a while to get there. Can nearly five when you have the most. What are usual? Pick the table. See the old piano, my first world vision. I've been asking so much about how you're doing with now. What happened while I was gone? I remembered your promise. I tried to prove myself. Like, I really tried. Yeah, it does feel like he's very open minded and, like, hey, listen, it's been three years. I've been through hell. I'm, I've moved on. Like, I'm willing to forgive Trish and stuff. Why haven't you? And it's like, well, she hasn't been through hell. And she hasn't gotten her fang points. But things kept getting difficult. And for a while, I gave up. There were times I would cry. I would think back to how you were here, and I miss you so much. I don't want to worry about you with the details of what I did during that time, but I guess I realized something. Well, this time I was a huge dick to my family. I idolized things too much and lashed out for them for not being on the same page as me. I wanted to be a rock star, so I had wanted to behave a certain ways that I think would fit that lifestyle. I was being unfair and unrealistic towards them, and I wanted them to hate me, and somehow that was going to further my career? Looks like it works for a lot of famous people. I don't want to make the fam family sad anymore, so I just did what I always do. Should have done when I love them and thank them for... Uh. So you kept playing? I'd love to see what you've composed over the years. I'm sure it's great. 
No, I just gave up. What? Really? It was such a huge part of you. I didn't really need anymore. The plastic reminded me too much of Trish, and I put it with the instrument somewhere and never played again in those years. Then what have you been doing all these years? Dad needed help with a charity event. He brought food, so he needed me to help him carry it around since Nessa was away in college. I thought it was just going to be a boring evening with a bunch of brats, but I saw something. I saw the children, and they ran around me, and they offered me toys to play with, and I joined them. I lifted them off the ground. Some clung to my legs, and I moved. No, no one ever played me like that. Oh. That, I don't know what to tell you, Fang, but you should show them a picture of you in your high school clothes. That would have been hilarious. But yeah, I enjoyed my time with the children so much. What were you wearing at that time? I asked her on my church and eventually got a gig dealing with the preschoolers. She looks happy right now. I feel like I would ruin the mood bringing up Trish Reed and the others again. I don't even know how you would find them at this point. Because like, if you use connection like that, it's very hard to catch up again. You know, part of me expected you to forget the whole promise. Then I'd be back and some lucky dino guy would have already swept you off your feet. And we'd all reminisce and talk about the wedding. And she smiles and gives a small laugh. The amount of guys I've had to tell that my boyfriend was just a blood and coming home soon. He begins stroking my hands on the table. And I'll never forget about you or our promise. Part of me is glad she's saying this to me, but I have too many questions. It's weird because I know she's happy. She looks happy in her work and she's glad I'm here. But something deflates the moment and I don't know what it is. I look back at the decorative piano me in the corner. Look, Frank, the piano. What about it? You think they'd let us play it? I don't think so. It's probably out of tune. With a shock. Come on. But you can't play. Then you play. Oh, so that's where this is from. As we sit by the piano, I think she understands. And that's why I'm teasing her. Like, what the hell happened? Fuck. Well, that's somewhere now. Whoops. Oh, well. But I'm still at home. Why does he say it like that? Oh, there it is. As we sit by the piano, I think she understands why I'm teasing her like that. I open the lid and the keys look rather pristine. Hand on I. Her fingers lightly roll across the keys. Oh, I like how that they handle the the wings. That's neat. Little 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 thingy bubble. She retracts herself. I haven't played in a long time. It's like it's like cycling. You never remember it. You never forget. I bet you still remember how to do it. She positions her hands just above the keys. I haven't known this in years. I don't even know which song to play. I want to see you play. That's all. I want to hear you after all this time away. All right. She gave out a sigh and then. What to play? Her eyes seem to glimmer for a moment. I know. It's called Amberlight Brilliance, the piano. Remember this? This was her song, remember? We made it together. <sighs> I still got it. I always thought of this melody when I thought about you. I guess I forgot how to do it. Thought I'd be rusty on the piano. You play beautifully. Thank you. I sit close to Lucy, and she rests her head on my shoulder. Her hands are still resting on the keys he could play again. You shouldn't have abandoned music. Talked about what we should do, what we would do now, especially since it was getting dark outside and the suit's light were coming on. We walked our way back to where we started in the park. We don't have enough, uh. Oh. I don't know, Anna. It's just so weird. A music teacher? I don't know, Fang. Be cool if you tried. Fang is shivering. The colder air is settling in. Yeah, this is how we get warmer. Aww. Oh man, he's fucked up. That is some scar tissue. About the piano music? I mean, I really like the idea of like that kind of light motif being brought back. It's good stuff. So having one of the characters be a musician is a good idea. And I kind of, I kind of get what you're going for. I do feel something. I draw Lucy close to my chest. Maybe I feel more if I wasn't streaming this. Suffer for the arts. She snuggles up to me. Thank you. She's precious. Things all are now. I guess the animal part of my brain is telling me to protect the smaller and more fragile meat. Fuck off. Little by little, I'll get you back to music, your friends, and I'm sure it'll work out fine towards the end. Lucy stirs. She doesn't like the idea. Anon, please don't ask me to do that. I'm not ready. 
How are you not ready? I lied, Alan, okay? I lied, I disappointed you, I promised it would get better, but I clearly you're not happy with how it turned out. Nonsense, you know they are proud of you. I'm so broken, Alan. Started preening again because no one, because I had no one. Oh wow! Wait, what? But that was years ago. I swear I tried getting better. Forgive me. I'm the one sighing this time. <sighs> you want to live my own life to be this great person you want to be? Yet here I am doing menial church tasks and dealing with children. I have no friends, no new songs, nothing to go on for me. Now I need to be this famous musician to make you happy. No, I needed to have forgiven. Oh man. Yeah, this is this is this is the part of the ending I was told about. That Fang is just a wreck. Subtle. I like that it's not there, and it's kind of like later, like oh no no, uh, the facade cannot stay. You didn't know all that to be happy. I think you're the best. Her wings are just gone, folded up, I imagine. The sunner is done. Wait, well, yeah, that's all that matters. Ah, oh there they are. I embrace her. I could tell she was getting tired, but she relaxes in my arms. When I saw that we were being together was all the matter, she hugged me back. I'm here. And I still can't and I still can't believe it. Lucy is shaking in excitement in my arms. Like I, I I get what they mean with like the idea is that Lucy has lost any sense of self and kind of tied her self worth to Anon. This is bad. It's like Trish, but worse. Insane, technically. Like it's cute, but I prefer people that learn and, and become people instead of, you know a wet towel I can slap myself with. I'm already thinking of all kinds of things we could do. Just knowing I won't see you until tomorrow already hurts me. Oh. Aw. Thought I would deny, but Lucy's pleading eyes with me. This pleads her out. <sighs> I've got quite a bit. Are you sure, Lucy? All the more reason for you to help. All right, then. My mother tells me too far from here. I like these little three lights up there. The little colors. From the tower. Oh, this is interesting. I wasn't kidding when I said I had a lot to unpack. How far are we? Because I need to know if we can even make it. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, we're like a hundred lines away. I wasn't kidding when I said I had a lot to unpack. But you know the luggage I brought back with me? And the heavier memories of my time spent in the outer dudes. I saw and felt different side. Why isn't he tan? If you were in the desert, shouldn't you have picked up like a tan? I mean, I guess he's in a tank, but still. It's a desert. A lot of sun. I saw and felt a different side of Lucy. I partially forgot. Tender hands rubbing soothingly across the scars now littered across my chest. We stayed up until the more morning glow of the dawn lit up this messy motel room. Fun fact, I do also bring up the scars in ending too. In my ending too, though. That's neat. Because he goes places. Clothes, paperwork, and useless brick knickknacks I'd collected or scattered around in organized chaos. I never felt more rested and at peace with the world than with Lucy cuddled up next to me. A peace shattered when my stomach demanded sustenance loudly. Hmm, how about we get some breakfast to my treat? Breakfast sounds nice. I believe about my family. I'm sure Mom would love to see you again. Probably would, too. However, I'd rather spend it with just you, Lucy. I grin as I watch her face turn beet red. You were never the smooth talker, Anna. Fine, but I definitely want them to see you. Tomorrow, though. Tomorrow. I'll tell them first. Get them hyped to see you. That'd be great. So, uh, tomorrow, then. Tomorrow, yes. What is this view? Like, no, seriously, like, what is this fucking view? Feels a bit A rushed and B. Uh, oh, it's Amberlab Brilliance. City Morning. What a nice song. Very, very low. I have to piss, however. And we got a little left. We made our way towards her car door, but before getting in, she once again embraced me, this time a little stronger. Aww. Uh, it's okay, Lucy. I was so lonely, Anna. You don't need to be alone, you know. I'm glad you're here. I missed you. I missed you too, Lucy. Although I miss the old fang, I'm elated. I lo No, you, everyone loves Lucy. I love Lucy. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, no high school musical. I don't like that ending. But I think it's better than I originally started getting skeptical. It just has some really bad patches that just don't need to be there. For the story to work and for the narrative to work. Although I guess it's fair because Fang is being a little shit and, and pissing on themselves. So fair enough. 
But I really think that ending one, two, and four are like the good end, like the endings worth keeping. If one ending had to go, ending three, whoop, because it does a lot of what ending four already does. Like mechanically, it does a lot of what four, ending four already does. Why <sighs> so much of like the worst shit in one ending? Such a weird thing to do for your film. I think I'm gonna go take a leak. I'm gonna leave it up to vote if we're gonna do the other. Actually, let me just check out the scripts and see if they're particularly long. Because I know that Rainbow's observation isn't too long. No, that's a thousand lines we're looking at. Yeah, we're probably just gonna do this tomorrow. How about that? Oh shit, this is okay. It's also like a thousand. Passion of the trigger is also a thousand. Fifteen hundred, actually. We'll do this tomorrow. I'll probably be in the shittest possible mood because there's going to be a lot of shit that needs to be taken care of tomorrow, but hey! The end! Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love how they're in the background. Oh, we see Mo. I don't know why you have this, but whatever. It's a really weird ending image since I don't think ending 4 did that. I have unlocked all the bonus chapters. Oh, there they are. So next time we'll do the last bonus chapters, and after that, um, I'll probably just wrap up my feelings, because there are feelings, and they need wrapping up. I'm going to go to the toilet, and then we'll check out those links he sent. So hold on. i got to turn on something. Ooh. Okay, let me let me be honest. I think that if I played if I played ending <sighs> if I played ending 3 before ending 4 and I didn't know what to know about anything, I probably would have been better on it. If it wasn't on stream, probably I would have been nicer about it. I would have been way nicer about it. But like ending 4 exists and it makes ending 3 not great. Anyway, we got some little links to look at. From our friend of the gear, the scary dairy diva. We have the Anon gang together. We have Al, Justin, Nooch, Nooch, Inko, Anon, Neva, and Amo. 
Get a load of these losers. One will get their ending four, but the other will get their ending one. Which do you choose? Well, Olivia gets ending one, of course. Like, <laughs> I don't know ending four of, of, of that game yet, but ending one for, 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 is a fucking national tragedy, my man. They're getting great for what, for what I heard in ending one in Olivia, but I, I highly doubt they're gonna, they're gonna break that unless she gets the nuclear codes, as they say. No video games, no anime, Wi-Fi is turned off until you're done studying. Why is Olivia looking so sad? Yeah, not she the one who turned it off? I love the little bear with the car. It's great. Man, there's so many cute little pictures. I want to hug that gator. What is this? What the hell is this? The Latin America side of the fandom? I don't understand Latin Americanese. Hold on. I got I to gotta turn this off so that you can't hear that. Oh god, it's the fucking scene I love so much. <laughs> he grew some eyes. <laughs> I can't lose my tail too. <laughs> Isn't that what you guys do? You're not getting the point? Oh. That scene is so good though. It's a good scene, though. Listen, I don't know about you, but that scene is fucking great. You know? Just making sure that you can't actually hear that. I know you can't, but I'm picking double sure. I love that it says proceeds to fucking die, too. <laughs> oh, it's the, it's the head tilt. <laughs> He knows! <laughs> Notices your bulge, as they say. Yeah! <laughs> I just love how he looks so upset. Barrel of crude. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> He's so dead. I love it. He's just fucking dying on live TV. <laughs> God damn it. I, to be honest, that scene is fucking awesome. <laughs> it's so good. I'm not going to survive that. Oh, oh, that is just... Oh, I'm... oh, I can't. I do. I am trying to learn Spanish to keep up. You are gay. The dinosaur is named the fucking what? I'm caving. <laughs> this shit's so magnificent. Beautiful OC. Ending one except it's the monkey meme. The monkey meme. <laughs> Life good. <laughs> That's pretty good, Scary Dave. That's pretty fucking good. It's pretty good. Well, that's that. That's that. And, uh, oh. Mm. Oof. Just gonna do that. There we go. Well, like I said, tomorrow we're gonna do the final bonus chapter. We're just gonna sum up what my feelings are. I think we all know what my feelings are gonna be. My feelings summarized are definitely just gonna be. I feel ending 3 should have done something different. But fine, what it does makes sense. I just gritted teeth acceptance. 
Rejection, but acceptance. Uh. Listen, I just want like a cute one-off idea I can write, because like I mentioned, I have a bunch of writing stuff, and all of it is major revisions, or like big, chunky chapters that need a lot of confidence. This is just annoying. I just want something a little simple. I might as well write that stupid pilot for Ophinia. For Ophinia's thing. Or for the for the feminine that I have in mind. Whatever. I'm, I'm just just tired. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot, probably. Not necessarily a lot of bad stuff that's like super bad, but stuff that's still gonna take a big old bite out of me. Just a a big old chunky <laughs> right out of me. I got two viewers and one like. What a terrible, terrible stream. I failed everyone. I'm honestly kind of sad that we're almost actually done with this. And I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. That makes two for two, which is better than one for none. I just, I just want to, I want to be famous. I want everyone to look at me and call me the coolest guy in town, but I'll never get there. I don't know. Yeah, we got, I, I know what, I know what the final thing is. I know the Rayma thing. I know what that's about. I don't know what the other two endings for Tribulations and, um, I don't know what these two are. I don't know what the third parts of those are, because I really only looked at Rayma because someone pushed it in front of me. YouTube pushed it in front of me while I was looking at some other guy. Which was before I even started this OP, so don't fucking yell about it at me. And then we got Gator, I guess. We have hugged the Gator, just not in the way that matters. And then, once we've done that, we unlock the... I don't know, I, I feel sad. I'll be honest, I feel legitimately sad. This was such a big, important, and fun thing. When I was having a shit time... Like, I might just do an LP in the future where I just come back to this a year or so later. Just to feel again, you know? I don't know. I just don't know. What I will say is that Snoot Game will forever be just frozen in time on my cloud storage, because it deserves it. It deserves to be locked in time there. And I also don't want to lose my fucking save. Thank you. Like I said, I feel that my ending order is like the biggest problem that happened. I hope that with Bonnie Gator it gets a bit better. We'll see. Thank you for being your scary Dave and whoever the fuck else has shown up. According to YouTube, there's been 15 individual viewers, so... Uh... Let me set up the next uh, stream ahead of time. There we go. I put a sad face on the on the stream title because I'm sad. It's just that simple sometimes, you know? Sometimes you just feel sad and that's all there is to it. playthrough for uh, 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 Volcano High is I just played the game with all the knowledge that I had from being spoiled on a bunch of stuff and I just got ending 4 3-2-1 would have probably been the better ending but we can never have that 
We can't. Unless I don't play this and 10 years later I'm still doing YouTube, which might not happen. I don't know where I'll be in 10 years. I might not even be alive. Wouldn't that be something? Or maybe I'll regret this and things have moved on or gotten worse, who knows. 10 years is a long time. Which, again, Amalgam High, the 15 fucking year time skip is so big. I don't know if it would work. It would work way better if we just do everyone adopts, but that's weird. Adam would probably adopt, because he probably isn't like, I don't want to have it. I don't wanna have all those other years. Those years are annoying to me. He might even adopt because he runs the school, and he's like, ah, I might as well do it. But I can't imagine that everyone else would go along with that. Eh, whatever. I'm, I'm, no, I'm just sitting here being sad. It's, it's the end stream sadsies, you know. We're just not feeling it anymore. Have a good night. Have a good Friday. Whatever. Um, see you tomorrow for uh, wrapping up and um, saying goodbye to an old friend that um, said some really bad shit. But um, in the end... In the end... Listen, if... You know what? You want to make a deal, Scary Dave? You want to make, like, a good fucking deal? For, for if, if somehow, ten years from now, we haven't died in an atomic war, we're still alive, I'm still doing YouTube. Which, hey, considering I've done this for 12 years, who knows? If YouTube is around, everything's still intact. Find me. Remind me. And we'll do another LP. I'll probably have forgotten everything. I will have forgotten so much, we can play it in the desired order. I'll do the voice acting again. Maybe I'll be a voice acting star. And everyone will be like, oh, man... Maybe I'll maybe I'll be rich and famous, and I'll walk in with my golden cane, going, <laughs> or maybe I'll be nobody. I'll be nobody special, living on a budget of nothing special, just having some fun times thinking about the olden days. One of those games that just hit me right in the heart when it mattered the most. Cause as much as I hate ending three, it doesn't doesn't sour the rest for me. Ending one was still this horrifying spectacle. Ending two was just goofy and silly in the funniest ways. And ending one was just nice, you know? And had a lot of that goofy, stupid buildup. But I shouldn't wrap up my, my feelings too early. Honestly, I would get some fucking money if I actually put my, my monetization on, but then it puts up ads and I don't want that. I'm okay with, with getting the money, I just don't want the ads. I don't want people looking at stuff while I'm trying to play a fucking video game. You know? Streaming is bad enough as it is for my experience. I think the original recorded LP, though, is just the... It's the better experience, though. I'm, I'm not gonna argue that, like... It is the better way to experience this. It's a shame that I did it otherwise. I might just do it with, with Wani, but I also don't want to give up the streams. It's the problem. It's, it's just, I'm, I'm rocking a hard place. Rocking a hard place. But, thank you all. Um, it's been a bit of a sad night, as you may have seen. Um, nobody, nobody human died, but someone's pet that was very close to them did pass away. And <sighs> it's something I knew was going to happen all day, and it's not exactly the best thing. Like I said, tomorrow ain't going to be great for other reasons. Not related to this, but it's... Looking to be a bit of a hard weekend. Looking to be a hard weekend. I would love coming back here in 10 years. I look at this, I look at this window, I hear that music. And we all know that feeling, deep down inside, coming back home to an old friend. See you guys tomorrow as we finish a legend in my, uh, in my, my collection of Let's Plays, Legendary Status. And I may not have finished his No Death Legendary run, but we sure finished ours, didn't we?